It was really good. Delicious. Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Lords of Football. Do you love The Sims and Football Manager but wish that each of them was a little bit more shallow and kind of wider spread? Instead of managing a single person, in Lords of Football you manage a whole team of people and of course as you might expect they are a football or if I'm going to Americanize my dialogue here they are a soccer team. It's a kind of a weird mix of a managerial sim as well as like a personal life simulator. Basically there's two phases of Lords of Football as you'll see when we get involved here. One of them is managing the training of the players, one of them is managing the nightlife of the players, and then there's kind of like a, a, a place where, a part of the game where you don't actually have control directly over what happens. You just kind of watch an AI versus AI football match take place. It's a very unusual game, it's available now for 30 bucks on Steam. Let's play it, shall we? I'm gonna load into an existing save. Actually, you know what? Why don't we start a new game first? Just so I can show you the kind of new game options uh, that we have here. So we can enter a name here. It doesn't really matter. Um, we'll be beard face or something like that. It doesn't make a big difference. Uh, I'm just wanted, I wanted to show you, uh, because if there's European viewers out there watching this, I wanted them to have a feel for kind of the scope of the game. Because there are only, uh, I guess, five European nations that you can play as. Spain, France, Italy, Germany, and England. Uh, so if you wanted to play, I don't know, a team from Eastern Europe or maybe Russia or something like that, or a Portuguese team or, you know, etc, etc. An Irish team, perhaps. Uh, sadly, that is going to be off the table for you. So why don't we play as uh, England because, you know, when I follow football, which is uh, occasionally, intermittent at least, uh, I usually follow English football. And then we can choose from either fake teams from the English Premier League or fake teams from the English Second Division. Uh, but all of them are based on real teams. So, you know, we've got the Manchester Reds who are obviously uh, based after Manchester United and who are very strong. Should go without saying at this point that there are uh, there the FIFA license or the you know World Football license is not in this game, so it's not real teams and it's not real players either. Uh, but in any case, you know you, you pick your team. You could be basically the Arsenal analog. I don't know who the London Hammers are. I guess that would be West Ham United. Uh, the Lions beats me, man. In any case, like I said, my football knowledge is not particularly strong. Can I back out here? Because that's all I wanted to show off there is the the new game options. Let's actually jump into. Oh, I didn't want to be beard face again. It's beard face. Say yeah, we know. Um, let's load into my game as the Sunderland Northern Lions. Now, like I said, uh, Lords of Football is divided into a few different kind of stages of gameplay, some discrete phases of interaction, if you will. Ignore these loading screens for now, I will explain what the heck is going on with this guy stealing change out of his teammate's locker and losing all his money at the slot machine. Uh, basically, we're gonna be in the first phase of the game. We're gonna go through one day of Lords of Football. Our goal for this game is to manage our team uh, to the point where they can win a European Cup, which I believe is the overarching goal here. Now, that's gonna change in difficulty based on whether you're playing as a team that's really good, like the London Gunners, for example, uh, or a team that's really bad, like maybe from the second division. So we're playing as, uh, the Sunderland Northern Lions, who are like a mid-tier team. And we gotta explain what the heck is going on here. First things first, these are all our players. They're arriving for our training phase, which is the first phase of the game. And what we have to do here is, uh, basically put them through their paces. We can do things like, uh, you know, manage, or put them on the running track to increase their speed, have them go through passing training, or, you know, penalty training, aerial ability training. Um, we could also, you know, if they're injured, we can take them to the physiotherapist. In the gymnasium, uh, we can choose, you know, what kind of exercises they can do to upgrade their skills. Like right now, um, I've got natural fit and strength training up. We haven't unlocked anything else, unfortunately, so I guess we'll just leave it as such. But if I wanted to, I could put, you know, two natural fit training centers here. Uh, similarly, you know, there's kind of like a, a mix and match. By the way, the frame rate issues are endemic to the game itself, not, um an issue from recording with Fraps, I promise you for once. Uh, similarly, you know, there's kind of like a mix and match where we can slot in training things we want. Like, instead of having speed training, we could have stamina training. That's about the extent of the customization for this training uh, level, though. So first thing we're gonna do is have all players kind of gather here at this spot, and this will allow us to manage them a little bit more closely. Now, what we might want to do is, uh, I guess we can't really pause the game, unfortunately, but uh, we'll get them all here, and then I'll start uh, putting them through drills. And we should see if anybody's actually injured, because if there is anybody injured, then we're going to want them to do something else. Looks like everyone's healthy here, which is awesome. Uh, what should I do? I guess, like, these people are being stragglers. Day's already, like, 10% over, and yet they have still not managed to all get here. In any case, uh, let's grab some of these guys and just toss them down on the passing area. We'll put the rest on the penalties. Uh, and as these guys eventually change into their their kits and get out here, we can get some more good stuff going. I don't know why these players don't feel like training. I guess maybe because it's rainy. Uh, I was in- Where are you going, guys? Oh, they're, they're all gathering there because I hit that, um... 
hit the whistle again. Okay, you guys train there. Someone is addicted to gambling, uh, so I'm gonna have to give him some training. That's kind of the, the crux of this game. Uh, maybe crux is not necessarily the right way to put it, but the uh, the draw of this game is that you're, you're not only managing, like, you know, the daytime performance, professional lives of your players, but also managing the nightlife uh, and, and trying to not either avoid scandal or at least make sure, you know, your players aren't finding themselves uh, addicted to things that are going to have a negative impact on your success as a team. So Jay Burgery, or Jay Bregery is, a, is a stealing because he's addicted to gambling. So what we might want to do uh, with this guy is maybe set up a treatment facility uh, or a punishment facility. So, you know, we've got ego training here, but maybe we can get uh, some gambling uh, addiction done there. Now, I don't really know if this is the right way to treat gambling addiction, but we'll see. For ego, I got found a guy that was addicted to ego, so I put him through, uh, his paces at that punishment facility, and basically they just had, oh, this guy's injured, okay. First things first, who's addicted to gambling? Is it not, not mental health, I want whoever has addictions. Issues? Issues, it seems like what I'm looking for. Where did Troy Burgery go? He should be over here. Maybe he's automatically gone. We can find him in here as well. It wasn't Troy Broadhurst. One second, one second. I've played about two hours of this so far. Maybe actually three hours, believe it or not. Uh, and still, sometimes I get a little bit confused about the interface, but it's certainly not to the point where, like, it's impossible to do anything. Did this guy just off himself or something, or is he steal for, stealing from the locker room right now? I've totally missed him. All right, well, that is my bad. Um... I can't believe that I can't seem to find the addictions here. But in any case, whatever. He's probably not going to destroy the team with his gambling addiction. Uh, I certainly hope so, anyway. Uh, so we're just going to have these guys train, basically. Uh, we can also get a feel for all of our players here if we click on them. A lot of them have really funny faces. Let's uh, bring that up here. They only have, like, three animations, I guess, on the face. So it's always like, hey, what's going on over on my right side? And then, oh, God, not that's not mine, officer. I swear I've never never seen that before. There's some of them that are really good. This guy, I mean, Tommy Rigby looks particularly Donkey Kong-like, if I may say so myself. Just wait till he does his uh, mouth agape phase. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, there's one really funny one, though. I think it's, uh, this dude's got like a crazy haircut back here. This guy right here. I don't know what it is, but when he opens his mouth, it kind of looks like I can stare right into his soul. As you can see. In any case, I am just dilly-dallying here, because most of your time... Yes, I realize that Danny Westwood is injured. Um, most of your time is spent uh, kind of watching things happen. That's not necessarily innately a bad thing, uh, because, you know, I, I've played a lot of uh, games like Football Manager, and I really like simulation modes and sports games in general, you know, modes that allow you to play as the manager. The problem is I kind of don't understand uh, why anybody would ever want to play as... Where are you going, Danny Westwood? I, I kind of don't understand why anyone would ever want to play... Uh, this, which is a much more shallow version uh, of a, a managerial sim, like a football manager or something like that. As opposed to just playing football manager itself, which as far as I know is, is similar to that, that price uh, of $30, which is kind of insane for me. And you know, people who are into like the managerial side of managing somebody's life, I feel like they would much rather play The Sims, where you kind of get a thinner, but also substantially deeper, Hello and there. less superficial Hello. managerial life simulator. Not How's it going? Not too bad, how about you? Going good. We are now live on the Northern Line live super show, believe it or not. I had a feeling we might be. <laughs> are you using a new microphone? You sound different. I'm not using a new microphone, but I am using new audio drivers, so mm. that might help. I hope. I mean, it sounds a little bit like tin canny, a little bit echoey. Oh, different bad. Okay, that's yeah. bad. <laughs> I mean, it's polite different bad. It's not terrible. It's just, you know, not necessarily as crystal clear as it used to be. Well, shit. It's, I don't like that. It's certainly not any kind of deal breaker, but in any case, oh, I put the screen region on the wrong one. Uh, oh, I botched it now. Let's go back to scene one here and then set it up. As always, hey everybody, welcome to the Northern Lion Live Super Show. Uh, I'm your host, Rockley Smile, here with uh, youtubecom slash Northern Lion. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be playing a little Dark Souls DLC. We got the, uh, we got some interesting stuff here going on today. We're going to be trying to play the Dark Souls DLC, which I have been... Yeah, what's up with your head? I forgot about that. Yeah, I, mean, I got this weird little vaginal seed pod going on. Uh, but we're going to be doing a little Dark Souls DLC, which historically I've been pretty terrible at, at least over the course of the past couple of episodes. Uh, we're going to be doing a little Trackmania 2, which is going to be excellent because I have my own server set up for that, so we should be able to tool around, yeah. drive a little bit. And there will be like 25 spots where fans will be able to join us. We're going to have Josh, Omrecker, Red Panda Gamer, Michael A.L. Fox, and of course, Nick. 
uh, joining us for that. And there's also going to be a little uh, special section, probably right after trivia, that I'm going to do, uh, which is going to be interesting to a lot of people. I'm not. It could be a, a great success or a colossal failure, uh, but I'm excited to see how it works out regardless. But I'll have more information for like on that as we move a little bit forwards. But for now, how's it going, Nick? It's going good. You know what? I figured out what the problem is, uh, and I can actually fix my audio if you can give me like five seconds. To yeah, no issue, man. Uh, I'm just gonna run past these dudes and go down here because I'm pretty sure this is where my blood stain is. I'm just trying to remember what what was the colossal problem that I was dealing with before, uh, and it's the fact that this is like the, one of the hardest sections in the game that we're coming up to. This goddamn uh, like seven caster dudes shooting at me at once. We'll be okay. I'm not sure if Nick's still here, so I'll be on my own for a while. But in any case, thanks for joining me on the stream. I just want to point out a couple of things, uh, administrative notes, that uh, I would be kind of woefully remiss if I didn't mention. The first thing is, YouTube chat is garbage. If you're just joining us for the very first time uh, on the Northern Line... Oh, God damn it, these casters. If you're just joining me for the very first time on the Northern Line Live Super Show, I uh, typically don't really monitor the YouTube chat, although Nick and, and Omrecker do occasionally. Uh, I don't have uh, the option to take a look at it, so feel free to tweet me at Northern Lion LP. I'm gonna die here. Did I at least get my blood stain before I died? That guy's gonna fall off the edge! Oh. Okay, um, yeah, tweet me at Northern Lion LP. There we go, I'm dead. That was really quick. At least I did get my blood stain back, all 481 souls. Ugh. This has been terrible so far, but you know, a little bit of incremental progress each stream. I think we are near the end of the DLC, and then I can go back to the um, the invasions that we were doing, which is good because I have a chance there. But you know, I'm this on, is the I'm close. Still here. Oh, hey, what's am up? I, am I better? Yeah, you sound fantastic now. Okay, great. Yeah, it was set on my webcam, and that sucked. So ah, sorry. yeah, I've recorded whole videos like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one time. Uh, Mike, Michael L. Fox came over and we were playing, like, he came over to my actual house and we were playing Spelunky. He had traveled for, like, five hours to get there. Uh, one of those times when he was back in Ontario, uh, when he lived in Saskatchewan. And, uh, yeah, I recorded, like, a whole episode of multiplayer on the, uh, webcam mic. Oh, that's a drag. People seemed okay, though. Oh, I was gonna say, did that ever get published? Cause I it, don't it did get published, the audio was all like weird and clippy, but, you know, by and large, it wasn't horrible. Oh my god, dude, these fucking casters, I swear to god! <laughs> yeah, I remember you just said that you thought you were mostly done with the DLC. There's still, like, about another quarter of it left, okay. maybe a little more than But that. I mean, that's, it's just gonna be like, this and a boss or something? It's this and then a boss and then another possible boss that you can decide whether or not you want to do. Uh, the chat seemed pretty emphatically excited about you doing that. Is this the Manus fight? It's, wait, uh, it, the Manus fight is coming up next. You have to go through this big long cave that's sort of like uh, Tomb of the Giants-ish. Oh, fuck. And then you fight him, and then after that you can fight uh, the Black Dragon Calami. Should I have a Sunlight Maggot or supplies. something? No, no, you can see down there. It's just a big kind of complex cave. Okay. That is but that's fine, where then. you can get uh, stacks and stacks of humanity if you want to end up farming it ever. Okay, I gotcha. I just want to aggro these guys, like, one at a time, because I've been getting my shit rocked. See, like, oh my god! The <laughs> We're, like, four minutes into the stream and I've died three times. <laughs> I keep getting the one-two punch from these fucking casters, man. Okay, I, I feel like there should be some sort of armor with resist or something, but I just I lack the facilities to be able to explain what armor that would be. This is a serious disaster so far. I'm gonna go human so that maybe I have a chance to summon somebody. Not only that, but like being invaded is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, because it's fun. <laughs> That's basically <laughs> the only reasoning that I have there. Uh, now that I'm human, I'm actually gonna quit out and rejoin. So that some signs can load in. Crazy Mike says I'm not being crazy enough. But again, I have a one more administrative note. I totally forgot about the, um... You missed an item early that deflects the dark magic attacks. Fantastic! Uh. What a disaster. Um, but yeah, the other administrative note is, uh, I mentioned Twitter. Tweet, hashtag NLSS or at Northern Lion LP, and I will be able to see that. And, uh, the other administrative note is I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'm making a note to mention that. Uh, at the top of every stream, because I, I get inundated with questions about when am I streaming. I don't stream on Fridays, I don't stream on the weekend. As of right now, I am streaming Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I believe that is GMT minus 8. It's uh, three hours behind uh, Eastern Standard Time, it's two hours behind Central Time, one hour behind Mountain Time. 
after, you know, if you're not in one of those time zones, I'm sorry, but, you know, do your own math. We'll just wait for the frame rate to get ready here. Because it takes a while to load in the Dark Souls world. In the meantime, it goes like 15 seconds at a time. Alright, people are saying, by the way, that Manus is uh, the hardest boss in the game. He's pretty tough. Oh, I'm excited to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Artorius was a little harder myself. Really? But well, hopefully I'll be able to get some summons then. Oh my god, this frame rate, man. Dark Souls in a nutshell, I guess. And we are indeed being uh, informed that it is GMT-8, which should be uh, of interest, I guess, for the European viewers out there. Not that all Europeans, of course, are on uh, GMT. It's a big uh, continent from what I understand. Never really heard of it personally, but... Oh, good! Dark Spirit Cloud, yo, has invaded. Let's do this shit, motherfucker. You think I can't take on an invader? And fight you at exactly the same time? I was gonna say, I mean, you were having such an easy time. Why not add another guy to the mix? Whoa, I didn't even... Oh, he was vanquished already. Oh, look who's here. Is Josh here? Yeah, he is. Alright, invite him to the Skype window. I'm in a safe place right now, he says, as he is fighting two of these seed pods. Dude, <laughs> I, I never noticed Did this uh, path down here before. Oh, there's all kinds of paths. Is that Josh? Is it? Did he hey. just say hey? Hello? Hey. Hey. Hello! <laughs> How's it going, Josh? I'm doing, I'm doing well, how are you? Uh, pretty awful. Have you seen me getting my ass rocked again, as usual? I'm seeing it for the first time. In right real now. time, sort of, but not really. Well, like five seconds delayed. I had to do video things. Yeah, so he, I, have, I heard yeah, that happens tomorrow. How was that, Josh? It was good, I played, played the Oregon Trail. How do you like that game? It's super fun, and it, it resonates a lot with, with the audience. I think the people on, like, my channel have a good imagination. Right. And so, I, that's what, I mean, because if you think about the Oregon Trail, there's really not much to see. There's not much yeah. going on. Right, yeah, but that's I, definitely true. Like, the idea of me, you, Bane, and The Rock. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> across the continental United States in the zombie apocalypse. I'm glad you said continental United States. I wouldn't want you to give the false idea that possibly they go through like Hawaii. That would that Guam. should be DLC. DLC Hawaii and Alaska. <laughs> I'm gonna tweet men with many hats right now and suggest that they're into it. Oh yeah, they'd be but, into it for sure. I, I've heard the way you've described the Cards Against Humanity card, so I'm pretty sure you know they don't need that much imagination. You fill in most of the blanks, <laughs> and most of the blanks are a salty surprise. It, that's a, there's a lot of saltiness. The Most of the blank blanks are a salty surprise. surprise. <laughs> this is by right. far the best I've done on the DLC, uh, this part at least, in a long ass time. I needed an invader to mix things up. Yeah, exactly. I needed that guy to get my, like, uh, to get me ready. Other than that, I'm good to go. Just get the backstab! Circle around, get the back! Yeah! Eat shit. These guys think they're cool because they're wearing the same helmet as me, but they're not. Oh. Now, if only I could save the game, now that I've finally conquered this most difficult region. This is... these guys are pansies. Okay. I gotta say, uh, what's going on in this room right here with the, uh... Yeah, I was just gonna tell you, you're gonna fight something that you're not gonna see anywhere else. This is like a unique item or character that you're fighting. I don't even know what to call it. It's like a ball of cement with a girder and a chain coming off of it. Oh, beautiful. Did I fight this? Yeah, you had to. It's, you stand right in the way. Oh. Was I, did I Hello! Kill it yeah, you killed it pretty good. Uh, oh, man, this guy's got a lot of strength! Oh, yeah! Okay. I was like, what do you call that thing? You know, um, at first I thought your description was, was kind of, uh, you know, a cheap way of uh, describing it, but in actuality, you know, that seems to be was, pretty good. It's, it's spot on. Uh, this dude seems like he's going to be a pain in the dick. I think there's an item to the left. Josh, don't Check quote that. Beyonce songs on the stream, please. It's, no, it, it's in joke i'm sorry uh we had a great time streaming last night we did some dark souls uh who was all the people there we had you and me and alpaca patrol and green uh, and panda and green. yeah it was like everybody <laughs> you couldn't hear anything basically <laughs> but it was I'm, a lot of fun anyway i think that might be how trackmania goes this time man we have like six or seven people <laughs> all set to play trackmania it's all gonna be like, oh fuck i hit a wall 
I'm yeah. interested. I, I would love to have some way of like keeping score in Trackmania to see who's like doing well and who's doing terribly over the course of the get, entire uh, stream. Get get Nimwing. Yeah, I guess get, so. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that guy's too pleased <laughs> with me considering he built like that whole thing for me and I just have never used it yet <laughs> because I'm the world's laziest man. Just make a card that says Ohm wins, <laughs> and then you'll have covered every possible reality. Dude, I don't know. We might have Ohm's good at these competitive games, but uh, Josh and I have experience in Trackmania. I love Trackmania. I should really you know never doubt Ohm, though. It's, it's. Oh my God, that dude is good at like every game. He yeah. murdered our asses Trackmania, and smite this you're, weekend. You're gonna be in for like a, a hardship, man. It's it's not the easiest game to stream. Really? Oh, because yeah. you gotta talk like, at the same to, time. Yeah, you have to talk and do well at the same time. Well, I don't have Meanwhile, to do well. Like, your audience is going to be, like, throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've already had that happen once. There were pictures. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that dude threw up on what, his dude? leg. That was Why awesome. did that happen again? He apparently was laughing so hard from our playing cards. Oh, against yeah. Community, which I, I find that to be a huge honor, actually. That is the, yeah. Definitely. He should probably, like, see a doctor or something, though. That's pretty insane. Doctor. Don't even. It's cheap. Doctor. Cheap laughs, Josh. I would just. I would. I just said use. You know. You know. MD. Hey, there's a summon okay. sign here. I'm pretty excited about that possibility because I've been fighting this dude for 25 minutes. <laughs> oh, and there goes the summon sign. Beautiful. Someone got oh. to it first. So I. I don't want to like. You know, preach to the choir here. DLC is pretty hard. Yeah, it's called Prepare to Die. This guy is like ten Titanite demons wrapped into one. Oh, good. Uh, the summon sign disappeared again. Where'd he go? Good question. To your left. Don't to even talk left. to he me. He was. <laughs> <laughs> Doing jumping R2 to do a lot more damage. Yeah, no shit. Oh. It's like that would, that's like saying two handed weapon to do more damage. Of course, but I don't want to leave myself vulnerable. Course. I've got to hit this balance between offense and defense. This might be a laborious fight, but this is this is Dark Souls right here, man. Dank. This is some dank souls. You don't have a lot of statues left to hide behind. Dude, Why I don't you just like kill him. Hiding behind like the statues doesn't smoke. even do anything. Oh, good. Yeah, thanks. Oh. Distracts him. For Dark Souls interface, man. Get murdered there. I want to summon this guy, but every time I bring it up, <laughs> it automatically oh. defaults to bringing up to like cancel. Cancel. Yeah. All right. Well, I should be dead. What's that Try show on guy. Spike TV? It's like, I shouldn't be alive. I, should. I, I yeah. really shouldn't. Oh my though. goodness. There's one that's like a hundred ways to die or something? Yeah, yeah. I that's died a hundred times. <laughs> that, that's the next show on Spike TV. Oh, I can't. You good, are. Good heal. Yeah. Thanks, man. Kind of got pooped on after that. Well, at least just you run, to the, run to the stomach sign. Dude, I can't because it defaults on to cancel. There's no point. Yeah, you just gotta... I don't have the time, and plus, there's like, like what, like hits. a 2% chance this dude even gets summoned? That's, it's worth it. Oh, man. It's like, diminishing returns at that point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what are the odds that this dude's gonna save my life? That being said, I did do it, so... <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, then. <laughs> there's another summon sign. Against all odds. I hope it works. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What, I can't hope? No. I didn't say it was gonna work. Hope is the mind killer. Please enter my world. <laughs> Please enter my world. You know the mind killer is actually Chuck Norris. We actually found out he he kills bears like with his mind. <laughs> well, it sounds like he's he the bear bears. killer then. Mind the bear. What was up with that oh. clip, man? He was like fighting a bear with his shirt off. Or oh, are you you're talking about Walker Did. Texas Ranger? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he does. Man's gotta, you know, wreck some bears. Have these? Oh my God, this Bear fucking bears. guy, man! Somebody Bear failed, bears. of course, of course. Have you of seen course. the the one where like Chuck Norris is like it, for Walker Texas Ranger? By the way, not to rehash these Chuck Norris jokes, because like, who cares? We're not ten. Oh yeah, that's totally my fault if I did that. Yeah, Sorry. no, no problem, Nick. Uh, but um. Do you have to kill this guy? Not really. Oh Jesus can Christ! Like, can you like just run past him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I want whatever he gives me, which is probably nothing. Probably nothing. <laughs> it might it might be like a 200 soul item. Oh, that's pretty good. That'd be good. Yeah. 
That's what, like oh, one... God. Wow, that was a good dodge. That was a really good dodge. Dude, I've got the invincibility frames down. 15% of the time. <laughs> oh! You're just about to tell a story about Chuck Norris, though. Yeah, there's a, there's a sweet... Uh... Okay, but the, the thing about Chuck Norris is that I don't necessarily buy into the idea that he's funny just because of those jokes. Uh, but some of the shit that he did on Walker, Texas Ranger, like, whoever wrote that deserves a fucking WAG award. Cause he stopped the chainsaw with his bare hand. Yep, yeah, I've seen that one. I, I saw the one where he's, like, teaching a class and somebody throws, like, a, a paper ball at him. And without even looking, he just catches it, like, backwards. And then Dark Souls is, like, completely frozen. Oh, my God. This is such bullshit. Did you see the one where he's, like, driving and he just, like, punches the chick like in the passenger seat what yeah he just knocks her out because <laughs> yeah. you know almost certainly Ow. she was she was being too like hysterical for her own good <laughs> that was like was a like tactical a knockout. The wife situation like from the Liam Neeson movie <laughs> <laughs> apparently you can smell plane crashes too I didn't know about that is yeah that... Ryan did you see the plane crash one is that from the gray oh no yeah no. I, I have seen no, that the one. Chuck Norris yeah when uh, he's like there's a plane crash here <laughs> 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 he smells the ground Dude, he is a Texas Ranger. That's like you... better than the dog in that goddamn hunting game. Yeah. <gasps> Hunter's Trophy and 2 Europa. Papa? He could smell red stink lines anywhere except for if he needed to smell them at a certain time. Red stink line sounds <laughs> like something you use on a fishing trip. Yeah, a hunting trip? Probably be. A fishing trip. A fishing I don't know trip. what a stink line is. You know, when stink, like someone's really stinky in a cartoon fish. or something. Stank fish. The stank fish. Oh my uh, god, guys, I'm gonna win here. It only cost me like <laughs> eight humanity. It's totally worth it. You're gonna get him back in five seconds when you get into the cave. Yeah, that's true. Do you promise me that? I the pretty cave much of get wonders. Him. Can you just kill this thing? Are you gonna find the puppy version of Sif, or are you gonna not bother for that? Does he act like Sif? He like runs around in a dark cave for a while, and you gotta go chase him down. He's a little bitch. Yeah, he's kind of annoying, actually, but it's cool to see. Oh, fantastic. Actually, yeah. I have no idea what he's like. He's totally optional, like off to the side where you don't have to get him. Look, man, you got some chain helms. Yeah, on the That's bright the side, chain. I did kill this guy. Everything in Dark Answered, Souls. Man. Everything in Dark Souls tried to get me to die. Even like my power supply gave out and my keyboard stopped working <laughs> and the frame rate dropped to like 10 <laughs> frames per second. But you, you gave it to the game in the end. I did. Is there a bonfire through here? Yeah. Don't lie to me, Josh. I don't trust a damn word you say. No, there actually is. All right, Nick. Don't let me down. I won't. Man. <laughs> I stepped on the switch. Yeah. That should bring an elevator it's, close to me. No, nah, it's literally the next thing you're going to see is the bonfire. Ah! Line. You lied to me. The next ah. thing I saw was a dude on this elevator oh. being a big dick about things. Well, I forgot about the elevator, but the next thing after that. Everybody forgets about the elevator. There we go. I dueled the shit out of that guy. No problem. Oh, here we go. Spirit of Vengeance! Uppermost stake six has invaded. Oh. Uppermost state six, steak. Nick, steak. Nick, where's the bonfire? It's oh, right I see it. Here. Summoning failed. Yeah, Summoning of course, failed. right? Yeah, you won't be able to use it. I know, but I gotta <laughs> kill this guy and then I can use it. Man, that's. Gonna oh, suck I hear the elevator. I think he's coming. It's actually. Bless you. Um. Where? I hear it. Just, just stand by the elevator and kick him off. I could just quit my game and then join. Good. Again. Happy birthday to Robert Barlow in the chat, by the way. Fuck you, Robert Barlow. <laughs> He's pretty okay. I was joking. It's a pretty neat name. Yeah, Rob. Bird. <laughs> I was thinking more of the Barlow part. Yeah, Barlow. Yeah. Pretty good. It's Keep the Barlow. Bar Peanut Barlow jelly. Yeah. Peanut Barlow jelly. <laughs> he keeps the Barlow. <laughs> Answered man. He's trying to uh, be summoned into my world right now. I would appreciate that. On the backwards man, the backwards man. I can walk backwards <laughs> faster than you can. I can walk backwards faster than you can. You like Freddy Got man. Fingered? I love Freddy Got We fingered. talked about that on the stream, right? There's like a certain proportion of people. Oh! Shit, yeah. okay, I've got a summon. But. It's soap on a rope. Yeah, there's a certain proportion of people out there that feel that that's actually like. Like Tom Green made avant garde art without realizing it, or like totally realizing it. The meat piano is avant-garde art. Beyond that, I don't know. Summoning failed. I mean, it's just like a weird movie. Yeah. There's like, that, yeah. Hooks up with that lady who doesn't have any legs. She has legs. Well, she technically, did. she doesn't have legs. 
by summoning this guy, you also can't use that bonfire. Yeah, I'll just banish him. Okay. You have a banish? Fuck Kobe? no. I'll just do it. Oh. I'll just like... Get out of here. I'll do, yeah, I'll just point and be like, hey, jump off this ledge, please. Please. Shiznitzel. DX. That guy comes into uh, the stream a lot. Yeah, he's a, he's a stream aficionado. Very good. Very good. Well, Remember I guess when Tom Green had the bum bum song. <laughs> bum was on the lips. Bum was on the when bum the bum, bum was on the Swedish, that was probably the best part. <laughs> <laughs> it got to uh, number one at TRL. What? Yeah, I remember that. What kind of yeah, country do you guys live in? <laughs> it's a really weird country. Before that, it was like in sync and limp biscuit, like and corn for weeks. Yeah, and then <laughs> like. And then Tom Green comes in and gets like number one in like yeah. two days. He had a big social media push. I mean, it's like if Ray William Johnson wanted to have a song on TRL now, he would be able to. Does TRL right. even think exist anymore? He's like told Tom Green, he's like, yeah, you, you got to get rid of this. <laughs> <laughs> you have to retire this, right? Very good. Very good. All right, answered, man. Hook me up here, man. Oh, he's killing the, the Titanite lizard. That's a nice dude. Lizard. So there's a bunch of places where you can actually drop way lower, but there's also a lot of places where if you drop, you'll die. So you gotta like know which places are safe. Yo, this careful. man has got me Especially hooked up. Especially going to the left here. This man is gonna yeah, do some good stuff for me. Like I this think. is the part where you can just like run past because there's there's right. enemy. Yeah, like that guy. What does this guy do? He's about to die. I only have one Estus, man. Is he doing like? Oh wow, he is. So gonna die. I only have one Estus. I can't what float you like this. Do? He's dead. Wow. Thanks for your help, answered I think man. He just went Super Saiyan and just like burned out. Yeah, he went. He what did. He went it? Super Saiyan and it, it didn't work out for either of us really. <laughs> so I guess I'll run back to this bonfire and hope that this uh, fucking blue spirit of vengeance comes to fight me at some point. Uh, the elevator keeps moving. I just want to duel you. Look what at that. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on there. It's he, like he wants you to go up. Maybe he keeps hitting. The, oh, there he is. Don't. Do you want to just ride the elevator back up again? I'll hit the switch. We can do it. See ya. <laughs> also, somebody just called me a dick bag on Twitter because apparently he was using anti magic defense <laughs> to protect me from the missiles. Oh, that's not true. That makes him a nice dude. Yeah. Oh shit, he's got a crystal magic weapon! Magic magic weapon, magic weapon! Oh, I'm gonna yeah. get a magic weapon. Dude basically killed me in one hit, uh, cause he's the best Dark Souls player of all time. Oh my goodness! Yeah. What a, tw what a dick bag! Well, I guess I'll, uh, just go back from that very first fucking bonfire and, uh, kill all those dudes again. That seems fair. <sighs> Your that guy's a dick bag. He's a bag of dicks. The Dwayne the Doc Johnson just told me to use the people's elbow. He should have. He he lost in uh, WrestleMania last night. Isn't he like 50? Yeah, he lost to John Cena. <laughs> well, who could back. possibly beat the legend John Cena? John Cena is the ultimate scum. He is. He had a rapping career. Oh my goodness! I can't believe you lived there. It's not even hard, man. Just hold your shield and pray. <laughs> The real problem is I gotta go through Macho these. Macho Man jukes. Randy Savage last night, and it was embarrassing. You, what, was what? It? Randy Savage? Yeah, I was. I was hoping he might have won, and then I kind of didn't realize he died. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. he didn't have the best WrestleMania. I feel kind of bad about that. <laughs> like, Ooh, yeah. Maybe he'll do like the flying elbow drop from the heavenly turn. Wow! Can you imagine the <laughs> gravitational potential on that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude would have some insane damage. Isn't there only a maximum speed that a man can fall? Or is uh, that yes, but Randy fall? Savage is not a man. Isn't a man. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm glad I unintentionally set you both up for that. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Randy Savage is like, the, he's not a god. He's like the one who a defeats myth? the gods. All right, well, wow. I guess I'll just die again, if you don't mind. Nick, here's a here's one for you. You ready? Yeah. What's the name of the game that is side scrolling has been in beta for a couple of years? You and Nick did a let's look at. 
That's kind of vague. It's not, dude, side-scrolling indie game that we both cover that isn't out yet. <laughs> the, the, the one thing... Oh. You know what you're gonna make me do? You're gonna make me look through all my videos <laughs> right now. <laughs> Wolf21 wants to know... Oh, the character looks like a spy and there are switches. I'm pretty sure that's Monaco. I didn't do a video of Monaco. Oh, never mind. The character Although, looks oh, like a spy. Wait, wait, what is, um, Stealth bastard? Yeah. I didn't do a video of Stealth Bastard. God damn it, Wolf21, help me out here. <laughs> Wolf21, please. I'm oh, sorry, Wolf22. Wolf21 no. is actually like a Binding of Isaac caster. Risk of Rain? Ooh. I mean, there are switches. Does he look like a spy? Uh, yeah, he doesn't look like a spy. Plus, I'm pretty sure switches don't play a major role. I think. It's been uh, a little while. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of switches involved. Delver's drop? I didn't do a video of Delver's drop. God damn it, Nick. Oh my I god. I don't do videos of like any indie game. <sighs> have you seen my channel? There's like no indie games on it. This is a fucking disaster, man. I know. What are you doing down here, man? I can't beat this. If I can just get to the bonfire, this nightmare will be over. But in the meantime, take oh, a drink every time. Total oh, I know what it is. It's the button affair. I didn't do a video of the button affair. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> that guy looks like a spy, though. What game has a person that looks like Wolf 22, give us some more info if you got it, man. Wolf 21. It's, no, Wolf 21 is the Isaac dude. Oh. Uh, Wolf 69. Where does he come into play? <laughs> Probably the butt, if I had to guess. <laughs> does the Mark of the ninja, ninja look like a spy? He probably looks like a ninja. Go Mark of the Ninja's out. Is that like standing in front of... Oh yeah, that's not in paid eye for <laughs> <laughs> There's too many conditions for me to keep in my head all Alright, now people are yelling at me to just run. Screw those yeah. guys. I'm assuming that the run is like a verb and screw those guys oh. is just like a turn of phrase. Did, did you do gunpoint? No, never heard of it. God damn it. Thanks for the advice, uh, Avilio Carvalho. I tried. Oh, oh someone no. said, hey Ryan, you can warp to that bonfire you're trying to get to. But I don't know if I can warp to it without having actually been yeah, to it. Yeah, you didn't. Rest at right, it, I or couldn't. you didn't even light it. I tried. It's, I tried. It's not in here, is it? No. <laughs> <sighs> spy versus spy for the Xbox, says Dakota Barty. It's a good call. <laughs> I don't have a video of it. Yeah, neither do I. Sadly. That was before my time. Why don't you just summon someone? Because I don't want to use any more humanity. I'm actually down to like 18 or something. And I need those well, for invasion. Someone who will give you a bunch of humanity. Well, it's not like when you summon them, it has like a fucking list of the items they're willing to offer. You think this is like TF2 trade chat or something? I guarantee whoever you summon is like, oh shit, Northern Lion needs humanity. Here we go, man. Oh shit. T. Darren Chopper. Darren Chopper. One of the most hardest hitting humanities in the <laughs> league. <laughs> Serious. It's worth a shot. How many humanities do you have? Like 12. That's enough. All you need is one. All you need is one. One's all you need. It's like the, the Beatles One album. Yeah. That was the song yeah. I was talking about. Well, it was the song and the album. Yeah, it's the one. The one band. is the loneliest Beatles. That's the wrong band. Oh, how about Legend of Dungeon? It looks like a spy. I'm just I'm Legend of Dungeon I'm man. I'm still looking through all of my goddamn videos right now. I was spamming the Look, silver medin silver pendant to keep the mage suppressed. Had I known you only had one SS, I'd not have tried. If you have DSC fix, you can add me, summon me, and I can give you crap tons of humanity. I want to make up for my earlier failure. No problem, answered man. It's no problem. Man, I'm just being an asshole. Man. You're you're a nice dude for you know. Anytime I make fun of somebody for being an asshole, it's probably like a given that they're just better at the game than me. Hey, uh, I've got an interesting uh, point for you guys here. What's up with this uh, prisoner dude who is still here? What prisoner dude? Uh, Mr. Chain Man. Oh, he comes back? Yeah. Yeah, I told you. I thought he was dead forever. That sucks. Yeah, no, he's king he's asshole, basically. Him. Just run past him. Can you fit down this tiny hole? No. Don't even... <laughs> By the way, uh, Jason Smith OTI, he can uh, fit down this tiny hole. Yeah, why'd you believe me? <laughs> Look at uh, him. I guess I'm just gonna. Oh, oh, there I'm dead. There's a guy behind you too now. Oh, it's real funny. Oh, <laughs> you died. It's real hilarious. Dark Souls. <laughs> Dark you think Souls. that's funny? You gotta lure him to the front of the room and then run past him. Well, technically, don't rooms don't have parts. Did you say Doc Moon? 
No. Why is Nick's hair oh, so whatever. cool? Says Tyler Hackerot. My hair is cool. Hackerot. Yeah, you got, got cool hair. I don't even know what I did. His power I level, etc., etc. What? <laughs> Suicide Prinny is right, by the way. He said you should have done an elbow drop on the way down there, and then he hashtagged Randy Savage. <laughs> Can we get a hashtag Randy Savage going? Yeah, fuck NLSS. Randy Savage <laughs> is the new hashtag. I would rather it be the people's elbow if it has to be something. Wow, like are you going to make a stand? You're saying Dwayne the Doc Johnson is better than Macho Man Randy Savage? Wow. I'd like to see them fight to decide who's better. Uh, They'll oh, never fight. Dead. They're both on the same side, the side of positive entertainment. I thought uh, uh, the Doc Johnson was on the side of electrifying entertainment. Nick, All right. The cream rises to the top. The cream <laughs> does rise. Just as. Are you dark serious? <laughs> this fucking <laughs> joke. Are you I was lying on the ground, and the guy's like, "Hey, can we just shoot a Hadouken at this guy?" You're the ultimate death lord. I suck, man. I'm I was just about someone. to give up looking through to figure out who the goddamn ninja is or the spy. <laughs> oh, you actually went through it. Then. I've done all of my videos, I've looked through all of them, there's not a spy. Somebody was trying to troll the shit out of me, by the way. They said, um, you know, I'm pretty sure that bonfire you want to warp to is just the abyss. Why don't you just try that? Fuck you, man. You think I don't know what the abyss is? Oh, Dark Souls DLC. Now you know why it took me a year to agree to do this. <laughs> just you didn't know it was going to be this bad. I didn't know it was going to be this hard. I figured it would be like fucking like Blight Town or something. Fucking blank town. It's kind of like fucking blank it's town. Less choppy. It it is less framey, except for my power supply constantly going out and causing my USB ports to turn off. Should probably get a handle on that. Yeah, just go like unplug some shit inside your computer. It'll be better. Just go unplug some shit inside your computer. You gotta have some extra like hard drives you don't need, right? Just what are you talking about? You think I just have like random dead hard drives sitting in my computer? I think you've got like probably at least two hard drives, right? This is a fucking joke. I have one hard drive, by the way. Uh, you have one hard drive? I, yeah. Well, on my real computer, I have, like, five. On my real computer, I have two, and the <laughs> one of them's three terabytes. But yeah, you have uh, three terabytes. What's the RPMs on that? I don't know, fucking enough. 7200 probably. That's way too low. Well. Standard. Well, I'm just gonna keep dying in the same uh, spot just, if you don't mind. No, stop being an, an idiot. Go back, use your humanity, wow. and fucking someone, someone. Someone, someone. Someone, someone. <laughs> someone. Someone, someone. Astro Marine giving me shit on Twitter again. He says, it's not the game that's hard, you just haven't upgraded your shield. Dark Souls is hard, man. No, you, you haven't done anything. Hey, I got one of those one swords that you get from killing those dudes, and it's real rare. Green was telling me about it. The Black what? Knight Great Swords? No, it's even better. It's like a light sword. <laughs> the Light Knight Great Sword? Yeah. Side, side sword. Oh, Balder's side sword. The Balder's. Yeah, the Baller. The swag sword. The Baller swag sword. The Baller swag sword. sword. This guy's being King Dick now. Better than the Dolce & Gabbana Katana. Uh, nothing saying. is better than the Dolce & Gabbana Katana. <laughs> Gucci Katana. The one in the stain. I'm getting my shit rocked here. Now this guy has decided, like, I, I was about to make progress, so instead he's like, you know what we're gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna move out into the center of the map. Thereby making it- Yep, there we go! <laughs> you should summon someone. Dude, I don't wanna summon somebody, cause then I can't go to the bonfire down here. Well, just have them kill themselves. What do you, you think I'm just issuing orders or something like that? Yeah, that's what I do all the time. Just switch to the overhead Total view and command and JT them. JT Wentworth know when to die. <sighs> Try they rolling. Themselves. People are saying, put on magic armor. All right. Yeah, put on magic here's, armor. here's my armor sets. Feel free to tell me which ones to put on. Antiquated dress, does that have magical resistance? Put on the, the big douche helmet. Uh, all right, let me see. I would actually think that the set that Dusk of Elysial was wearing might actually have that. Yeah, that's what I was looking me. at. Uh, it does. Ha it has very high magic defense. You're correct. Higher, anyway. They are fairly consistent with their lore. So I will put on the antiquated skirt and the crown, or the Dusk <laughs> crown, or whatever it's called. I'm going to be so happy when I finish with this DLC, man. It'll happen soon. I'm gonna be the world's happiest. I thought this was gonna be like a two-episode fucking interlude. 
but now it's an odyssey and people Yes, like now it. it has become a fucking nightmare. The, the thing that's great though is that there's, <laughs> there's like huge I, long tail success on these. Like, oh whenever I post a video that's like me failing over and over, people get pissed like the day of, but then I look back at it six months later and I'm like, oh, 150,000 views. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen yeah. in these streams. People who are like mad into Dark Souls are gonna be like, wow, this guy's a fucking idiot, but you know, the more casual audience is like, herp the derp rage through, <laughs> hilarious. I have this video for this game called Cuboid Sandbox that was like a Ludum Dare game that just got, you know, thrown out there. It was done in like 48 hours or whatever. And it's just a game where you take blocks and you put them in the screen and you like put little towers up and they eat stuff. And there's no actual rules to it. There's no actual structure to the game. It's just for fun, right? Okay. So apparently that was a big deal. And that game freaking like took off because I guess Nerd Cube covered it. And. People have been coming to my channel and yelling at me because I didn't know what the goddamn towers were, and they're still <laughs> doing it to this day, and they've been doing this for like eight months now. Every few days, I get like three more rage comments saying, why don't you know what the towers are? Wow. A little bit of a rant here, but I just thought that was kind of funny. I had another one today, <clears> so I thought I'd mention it. Hey, uh, by the way, Dark Souls, man. Uh, people are telling me, yes, put on the antiquated, like, skirt and whatnot, but the hat, and only the hat, doubles the amount of magic damage you take. Wow. This, game, this game is Troll City. <laughs> That's hilarious. So I'm putting on the top hat, my Bioshock Infinite-esque top hat. We're gonna make our way down here and then never play Dark Souls again. Did you hear that, guys? Ryan mentioned Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, probably by far my asked, uh, or my most asked question on Ask FM. Is like, dude, <laughs> why aren't you playing Bioshock Infinite? As if there's like some kind of like ethical or personal issue that I have yeah. with the game, which you is had a true. Fight with that developer, right? Yeah, little known fact: like Ken Levine actually killed my mom. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, it was like I was at a wrestling match. I was actually wrestling Macho Man Randy Savage, uh, and then, you know, my uncle slash mom in this story would like drop me off, and we had a big fight beforehand. And then I won the fight against uh, Randy Savage, and then I let the you know the whole. The dude got angry and like wanted to not pay me as much as I deserved. Oh wow. This has crossed the threshold from like silly novelty Twitter account discussion to full on fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> but then I let Ken Levine like stole two hundred dollars from the wrestling guy, and then he ran out of the building and I was like, Good, that's what you deserve, you greedy piece of garbage. And then I went down and then Ken Levine had killed my mom. Use tables. And really she told me that, that great with great power comes great responsibility. I thought I heard that somewhere. It must yeah, I guess that's where it was. Here we go. Dark Souls, Dark Souls. On the bright side, we still have uh, about an hour. Of sweet high octane, don't even say it. High Doctane. I thought it. Dark Souls entertainment ahead of us. I'm looking forward to the thrills, spills, and chills at some point. Well, the the spills. Oh Jesus Christ! The spills. I I can't do it. I give up. <laughs> the game is just the standard deviation on success is just fucking stupid in this man. Wait, the dusk's helmet doubled the magic damage you receive. Yeah. Crazy Mike said that. Yeah. Did you uh, black I, out for a minute? Well, I don't know. I, yeah. I stopped. I mean. Just summon someone. I'll, su I'll do it one more time, then I'll try to summon somebody. But, you know, like, I keep getting invaded every time I try to... Oh, shit. What the hell happened there? I just well, fell through the glass floor, die. man. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> That's a secret. People are making a good point. I can pull one at a time uh, with arrows. But maybe let's try summoning for now. This is a fucking disaster, man. Only 12 humanity remaining. You can... it's fine. The I infuriating part about this, and it's totally not the audience's fault, but is, as someone who used to be good at Dark Souls, and is now not, getting this advice about, like, Dark Souls isn't a game about trying the same thing over and over, is like, yeah, I know, but still! Shit's hard, man. It's like being an old... take it from this old gym rat, you know? Used to be able to bench press like 400 pounds, but then I like tore my shoulder out or something, and then people were like, "Hey, just try, you know, you gotta eat right, you gotta take protein powder." You're like, "Yeah, man, I threw my shoulder out." 
I don't know. Hopefully that analogy makes any sense at all. I really like that analogy. I think it was very good. <laughs> like my my mind understands, but my hands don't, man. You don't need to give me a, a like Dark Souls 101. Do you have a crest shield? I of course I have a crest yeah. shield. Do you think I don't care about dental hygiene? Eighty percent magic resist. Which, which crest shield? Grass crest? Uh, I don't know. Green crest, I should say. Isn't there one just called crest? Dental crest. Aqua fresh. The dental dam shield. Cool. I'm a Colgate fan myself. I don't even. I don't give a shit. This as long as it's not Tom's. Colgate. And then he smiles and goes, "Ting." Boy in a barrel. Yeah, Channel favorite. Boy in a barrel. It's like remember what Vaz said. Doing the same thing over and over, repeatedly, and expecting the same results. Or expecting different results is insanity. Pretty sure that might not be, uh, originally a Voss quote from Far Cry yeah, 3, but... Probably not. Why the hell isn't your guy naked? It makes you immaculate. That's true! I have a much better success rate when I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> With Don't everything, really. <sighs> Summoning failed. I should... Oh! Kellerod's here! Excuse me? I don't know, someone said that you're the Al Bundy of Dark Souls. Am I the Al Bundy of Dark Souls? Hello, Kellerod. I need you to save me from this fucking disaster that has happened right here. Maybe he'll give you a bunch of humanity. You're right, boy in a barrel. Maybe you should be less Al Bundy and more Ted Bundy. Wow. There you go. Oh, he's this guy just gave me 20 humanity. humanity. You're right. Now. Thank you, Kellerod. He's, he's, you're a nice he's dude. He's getting out his humanity. So yeah, you're, you're correct. Ah! See? Yeah. Suck it. <laughs> Maybe I should be less Al Bundy or Ted Bundy and more Solomon Grundy. I like that. <laughs> Solomon Grundy wants to beat Dark Souls. You guys played the Injustice an demo yet? Guy. What do we play? The Injustice demo? No. Yeah, beat Jay. No. Oh, Dark Spirit King Bob the First has invaded. Kellerod, let's do this, me and you, buddy. You beat Dentist Jay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did. I thought you were talking about something else for a second. No. The Come here, motherfucker. I, I, I can never play him in another fighting game again. <laughs> Welcome to your fucking nightmare, man. Yeah, how does it feel? Now the game's fucking you, not the other way around. Oh, he's trying to backstab me. No Don't let him backstab you. Yeah, exactly. No such luck. You better run, motherfucker. See you later. All right, me and you, Kellerod. We'll just hang Ooh. out down here. Kellerado? We, we can just beat the level. This guy wants to come after us, so be it, motherfucker. Otherwise, it's his fucking nightmare. Kellerod, protect me for a second. I'm equipping my <laughs> shit. The YouTube chat is arguing about whether or not the insanity quote was from Franklin or from Einstein. I think it's Franklin Einstein. <laughs> I'm Franklin the turtle? Yeah. Hey, it's Franklin. All right, let's do this, Kellerod. Me and you. Oh, wait, there's a summon sign up here. Let's just hang out for a second. If we can get Bake69, which, what a great name. <laughs> yeah, you'll see. It, it is from Einstein and not from Voss. Or that I guess, let's go hunt this guy, man. If he's just going to be a, a, oh, he's sending me a message here. Is he going to say, like, fight me one-on-one -on -one like a man, pussy? He says, oh, he's got wedding gifts. All right. I really want you to be the number one YouTuber. I'm not sure if all three of us can be the number one YouTuber, Ben. But there, it's like the Highlander. We can all <laughs> there can only be one. only be one. Oh shit! This guy gave me this invader gave me a Titanite two Titanite slabs. That's super nice of him. That is nice of him. I guess now we're just gonna. I guess we have to fight him now, like because we can't just let him live. Yeah. I mean, slabs Otherwise, are kind of a big deal. Yeah, it is yeah, a big deal. You only get like a couple now. slabs of playthrough. All right. Oh shit! <laughs> this guy, Kellerods, he knows what's up, man. But I will bow to him as an honorable invader, regardless. Congratulations wow. and thank you for the slabs, my friend. This Kellerod guy, he's gonna carry me through. See, that's he's your total stasis, man. He's my total scumbag. <laughs> well, the thing with Kellerod is I don't understand why he doesn't take this sweet, hottest HD shortcut on YouTube over top of that gazebo rooftop. <laughs> it's sweet free running, man. I saw, uh, what's her name, Faith from uh, Mirror's Edge do just like that. Did I accidentally kill Kellerod? Oh shit! He lives somehow. Did you see that? Uh, this man is a goddamn god. Wow. I don't what, he's invisible. What he is? Doing? What he is he doing? Use, like slow fall or some kind of spell or something. There's a slow fall spell? I, no, probably not. It, it looks like he has that endurance stuff. Viagra? 
No, we won't. Yeah, but the Alice. No, what's that like the green shit that you put on yourself to make your endurance not go down? Plasm. <laughs> Aloe vera. Yeah, fuck it. Aloe vera. Makes your skin smooth. Hey, <laughs> right, guys. Summoning failed, by the way. Just in case you guys were curious. I was curious. I was too. It's just I'm seeing these arrows just fall out of the sky. This is. It's, he's really strong too. Like each one of these arrows is doing. It didn't even hurt him. He took it right on the chin. Big 69 is back. <laughs> Is this dude just like a hacker? What's he doing? I hope so. Just fucking cheat the way through the game for me, <laughs> Kelrod. Please. Put me out of my fucking misery. <laughs> I'm sure I'll let him down at some point. Like, I'll just fuck up and get backstabbed. By him? Yeah, like, he'll, he'll accidentally kill, kill me. This scythe is way better, by the way. Thank you to everyone who was like, hey, use the scythe, you ding-dong. Oh, there is a slow fall spell. This is a really good Dark Souls player, man. If he just pulled that sp spell out, out of nowhere, out of his asshole. He, you just get a chart night shard. Yeah, like it means anything. Excuse me. <laughs> so mean sometimes, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm all hopped up on Dark Souls, man. Oh, it, gets, it gets emotional sometimes. Exactly. Right? Like a spider monkey all hopped up on mountain. Alright, this is me and you, Kellerod. You fight him off! Kellerod! Kellerod, fight him off! Oh shit! He's coming down! Did you really just. Oh, no. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? That's a bad way to go. I'm still alive. What are you guys talking about? Well, okay, alright, yeah. alright, alright. You're seeing something I didn't see. Did that guy just die? Yeah, Kellerod's dead. Well, I guess you let him down. No, it's all good, man. This is even better yeah, cause because now I have be able to use this bomb. Exactly, right. Kellerod has made himself a legend in he the Northern Lion Super Show so community. Every episode, one bonfire, man. That's pretty good. It's not you good mean, at all. You yeah, just down. Yeah, go forward there. Try jumping. Uh, how about you go forward and uh, suck on my knees? Suck on my balls on your knees. Suck on my <laughs> knees. Dude, I'm going insane from Dark Souls. Suck on my knees. Yeah, would, that would almost be worse because they'd be all like dirty and wrinkly and stuff. Your knees are dirty and wrinkly <laughs> from what? Being on the, your knees too often? Wow, that's really highbrow humor there. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to give you the rocks highbrow. I think when he puts his brow up, it means the elbow's coming next. I guess is where you're going with that. People's highbrow? Kind of. He has a really good, like, arched eye eyebrow. Man. He does have a good eyebrow. Yeah. Have you seen your own eyebrow in that damn Pixar picture of you? You got a pretty good eyebrow, too. <laughs> that's true. You guys should have an eyebrow off. Alright. One second here. Need hollow. Alright. Knee hollow? Need hollow. Treasure ahead. You want me to jump off this? Knee how? I mean, I want you to. Doesn't mean it's a good idea. Alright, fuck you. I don't try. Hey, Answered Man's here. I remember that guy. Me too. That guy I says treasure ahead. He might be right. He's probably not, let's be honest. The YouTube chat is saying R.I.P. Kellerod. Kellerod never forget. He's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> Kellerod did basically save my life. Like, not only did he save my life, he saved the stream. So he's a stream savior. Does that mean he's going to get his own animated feature? Well, I guess that's not up to us. But... Yeah, that's, that's up to somebody you can animate. Does he take Mamewing status of stream savior? No. I don't think you can take someone else's yeah, status. Everyone, it's like, you know, a donation wall for like a stadium or, you right. know, stuff like that. Okay. We keep adding on. A hospital, yeah. We just keep adding names. A hospital? Yeah, hospitals have donations. They do? Yeah, Northern Lions Knees have just added me on Twitter, by the way. That's good. This is weird. There's Northern like a prism Lions stone have... down here. In a hospital. What's up with this? You can prison? just like run down to the right and avoid all the dudes on the left. That's what I usually do. Is the answer man behind me? Yeah, he is. Oh shit. Baron Chop. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, what do we do now, Josh? Uh just keep going. Answer man, what do you need some health or something? You'll eventually find like the bottom and there's a bunch of weird dudes. Bunch of weird dudes. I like dudes. those dudes. I think they're pretty cool. They're weird. Oh, it's like those humanity dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them drop double humanities. Did you guys ever think that humanity looks like a, well, not with the eyes, but, you know, yeah. without the eyes, humanity yeah, yeah. kind of looks like a ghost vagina? Yep. Excuse me? <laughs> it's a source, it's a source of life, so I thought maybe they did that in Uh, excuse me! Uh, what are you doing there, answered man? 
Answer man, what have you done? Oh. Do we walk yeah, on like an know. invisible pathway or like the opposite? A, a nah, you guys are fine. He's taking you to the Sif thing, I guess. I'm scared, man. I don't even oh, want to scared. attack these guys. Attack them. They're oh. actually pretty easy, except for the giant ones. Those. Yeah, they have ones. like no health. Okay. What's up with these prism In stones, man? You, you missed them. There you go. What's up with these prism prism stones? Prism. They're showing you the way. I don't. You think I need that? I've got answered, man. Well, the game doesn't know if you have answered, man. I'm the answered man. I'm the answered man. I can go answer as fast as you can. <laughs> I, I try. I can answer questions as fast as you can. I can answer questions as fast as you can. Boy in a barrel says, "Attack the ghosts. They're really just racist dudes in blackface." Wow. Whoa. It's not racist to say that. Oh yeah. I think. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it is, but I kind of thought it was. You want to tiptoe around it, right? Like, just you don't, don't want to get involved. Yeah, you don't want to go up that and hang out right. Hey, Did you guys see the? Man. It's it's viral today. That new Brad Paisley song. No, I like uh, Brad Paisley though. Well, you're you're gonna find this song probably hilarious. Um, it's about how like like people of the South now shouldn't be blamed for you know fighting in the oh. <laughs> <laughs> fighting in the Civil War, no. like to uphold. No. Yeah, and it's got a guest star in LL Cool J. Nah. -uh, Swear what? to God, man. <laughs> That's bad. I, I forget what it's called. It's it's something like um you know like modern South Man or something like that. Oh, I want to listen to this. You should. It, it's viral and hilarious. <laughs> Is this intended to be taken seriously? And I think so. There's there's a, wow. a marked lack of self-awareness involved in this piece of art. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're being a little bit harsh on him. Maybe he's got good intention. Because it's not it's not like don't blame me because my granddad's a racist. It's it's not like that. But <laughs> it seems like he's trying to you know in his own way be like sorry, but. Uh, but I didn't do it. Yeah, basically, this is like, yeah. <laughs> it comes across as a little hilarious for many reasons, shall we say. Right, yeah. How long until we check. actually get, like, don't blame me because my granddad's a racist now? Oh. Has followed you on Twitter. Yeah, I want to I wanna hear that song. <laughs> is Answered Man actually, I don't know if he's taking you towards the boss anymore. I think he's just farming. Yeah, I think so, too. It's all good, man. He's he's in control. Answer, man. I don't need any more humanity. You're cool, dude. Take me to the this boss. This is where I got invaded on this little kind of ramp going down. Yeah. And then I like pushed the guy off. Actually, yeah, it was a sweet kick. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Did you really? Yeah. Answer, man. Let's go. Oh, I think uh, Michael me Fox is trying to call us right no, now. No, don't let that jerk bag in. Yeah. Until 4:30. He just. Yeah, he said I want in. He's always trying to not play by the rules. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to recall where Sif is. All right, answered man, I'm with you. Should I walk out over this like scary bridge here? I mean, no disrespect to Michael A. L. Fox. I'm just saying we can't have like eight it. people here that don't know anything about Dark Souls. Yeah, I know plenty. Apparently, the song is called Southern Comfort Zone. Southern Comfort. Which is really? so is like a really, really funny Southern name. That Southern is, Friend Zone. <laughs> wow, Southern Friend Zone is real good too. I like that, Nick. People are telling me to open up the shortcut, but... Yeah, they're saying to go back. Whatever, I man. don't know where the shortcut even is. I don't control this. Answered man's driving the bus now. I'm just happy to have made some progress on this video, basically. It's not really a video. It will be by the time, you know, most people are watching this, but... As of right now, not so much. We're live and in color. What is, what's up with these, like, <sighs> crystals here? Are you watching the, the song? The dude, the dude who fell off the ledge. Apparently, uh, I didn't actually kick him off. He kicked himself off. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought you kicked him. So I'm sorry, Rabbit underscore UK Dota. Oh, that apparently the actual name of the song is "Accidental Racist." <laughs> oh. Like, uh, literally. Well, that actually oh. changes the framing a little bit. <laughs> it's called. It's not called "Accidental Racist." It's called "Accidental Racist." No, it's not. I believe it is. All right, hold that, on. that was the title of the video I watched, but I thought it was someone that re-uploaded it with like a funny title. News for Brad Paisley. 
Talks about his LL Cool J duet, Accidental Racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't wait to read this article. <laughs> there's any hard-hitting quotes, be sure to tell me. Yeah, I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying to summon somebody, but it doesn't seem like it, it's possible. <sighs> the song covers Paisley's struggle to deal with race issues as a white man in the sound. It feels like <laughs> people are walking on eggshells whenever the subject come up. The lyrics describe him, or at least the character he's playing, walking into a coffee shop wearing a shirt that has a confederate flag on it. Which, you know, saying, yeah, our bad, right? Like, <laughs> Sorry, I, you have the right to wear the confederate flag wherever you want, but people also have the right to be like, whoa. What up yeah, with that, Brad Paisley? If you're trying to wear the Confederate flag, you're trying to make a statement, right? So, isn't it... So, I'm well, a like good, down-home Southern boy! Like, a lot of the Confederate flag is just being, you know, proud of, like, being from the South. But then you also have the whole, you know, the Southern thing that happened yeah. in the Civil War. So, it, it's, it's, it is walking on kind of, like, two sides there. It's unfortunate that those are inextricably linked. Maybe they should make, like, a new Southern flag that just has, like... You know, some corn or something on it. Well, why force Cotton. the division, though? Like, what's the advantage anymore? We're all still one country, right? But well, I mean, there's, you guys are. There's people that are proud to be from like New York. There's people that just like being like from where they're from. Right. Southern. Well, that's fine. I mean, we have. It's a different culture. We have states, and that's fine. We have like a state bird and stuff. I don't know why wow, we have a state who's bird. out there celebrating the state bird. <laughs> I celebrate eagles, man. So that's not, that's the free as hell. No, I'm just saying I'm celebrating Eagles all day. Well, Michael Celebrate. Adams says the new Southern flag should have the band Corn on it. <laughs> corn fed. So what's up with this big like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time first Spider Boss dude? This is it, man. <laughs> yeah, you've reached uh, the final mandatory boss. Excuse me. Yeah, this is the final boss. Oh shit. Mandatory. Anyways. Here it comes, death, says someone oh, in Apparently this guy's an asshole. Even with two yeah, phantoms, you can still summon Sif, so watch for his sign. You have to find Sif, though, for the sign to show up. Apparently he right. was, like, right next to that room we were waiting in, and I'm just... Yeah, I think he didn't go there. <laughs> yeah, I just, like, was like, nah, you know what, fuck that. I thought you had to break down an invisible wall and, like, chase him through a couple hallways. That's what I had to do, anyway. You had to chase him through some hallways? Yeah, he had to chase him. He was, like, warping in and out of time, and you had to follow <laughs> he him He was around. warping in and out of time! Sif is crazy. You gotta use an Estes, puppy. man. That one guy on your team is getting a little help. That's his own fault, man. He's got a team. Yes. <laughs> Alright. I thought in RPGs, instead of a team, we call it a party. Yeah, this is a party. <laughs> it is a party. Pacific Coast Party. <laughs> you guys big Smash Mouth fans back in the day? No. Not really. Oh, excuse me? Don't lie. No. I like that one song. I honestly, I, I only knew, like... All Star and Walking on the Sun. Yeah, let's do those. I forgot there were two. Answered Man, I'm gonna fight the shit out of you in real life. You're gonna fight Answered Man? Yeah, oh, dude. He died. Fool me once, shame on you. Uh, fool me twice. Yeah, I won't get fooled again. I like the George Bush version of that where he forgets what the saying is halfway through and then says it a couple more times. I think that's the one I just did. <laughs> How is it? Wait, what? All of a sudden, my Twitter's going nuts. What's going on here? Quit, Pro quit. The Jonathan, whatever his name is from Corn, Jonathan Davis. Jonathan Davis? I thought he had a, like a brain aneurysm from headbanging. Whoa, too much. Jesus. I thought you were going to say Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Jonathan <laughs> okay, Jonathan. this is not funny, but have you seen that Jonathan Taylor Thomas account? No. It's verified on Twitter. Apparently, he has like serious lung disease from the working conditions on uh, Home Improvement. Wait for the working conditions? Yeah, what? apparently, there's like asbestos everywhere or something. So he has like real lung problems. Oh, uh, yeah. what's, what's up with this uh, humanity storm? Wait, from playing the character in the show or from actually being the actor in the show? What do you mean? Is I'm really confused. <laughs> are, is this a parody account or is this? No, that, well I don't know. Yeah, it seems like it would be like a oh shit. Seems like it would be like a really mean parody account. I thought the joke was that his character then developed some sort of disease and then formed a parody account. Because no, man, it's verified Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Oh, so if the people at Twitter have done their due diligence, I'm pretty sure he has, like, mesothelioma or something. And they always do on Twitter. You well, should go to that one law office of James Suckoloff. James Suckoloff? 
Do you or a loved one been diagnosed with mesothelioma? I thought that was Ryan Roach and Ryan. I have no <laughs> idea who those guys are. But <laughs> I know who one of them like is. At a party. With two people named Ryan, I mean that's the way it goes lately. All right, well I, I'll tell you what, guys, that was a good fight, but I'll just die if you don't mind. You died? It you was a good fight though. Right now. now you have no health right now. Yeah, I have My zero health. That's how I died. He killed you in one hit. Michael A. L. Fox says, "I'm so horny." <laughs> this says, guy, man, he's a wild card. Jugglers. He didn't even hashtag NLSS. How are we supposed to do that? <laughs> Did he include any of us? <laughs> yeah, he included all of us. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Crusty <laughs> jugglers. Crusty jugglers. All right. Now they're saying go and save Sif. Well, if fucking Answered Man wants to do that, that's what we're gonna do. Why don't you guys, while we go through this summoning nonsense, why don't you guys take a second to pimp your channel and I will just do stuff in the in the background here. We should crimp our channels. If you want to be a hip player, but your hair ain't curly, better hit us up. <laughs> and you look like a swirly. You gotta crimp my channel. I wish you went with Burly in that, in that oh, last dude. round. That's or the first two. Surly's good too. Sirloin. Hey, uh, pivot channels and ding dongs, the overlay's up. Oh, sweet. Josh? What? Uh, hey, everybody, I am Josh. People call me Josh or Jay Smith or Jay Smith OTI. I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Jay Smith OTI. I upload videos of me playing video games, which is a good time. You can check that out. Also, I have a Twitter account at twitter.com slash Jay Smith underscore OTI. Check me out on there. And then finally, I have a Twitch account, which I do live streams, uh, like we were talking about earlier when I was doing Dark Souls. I'm currently going through Dark Souls again with a magic character, which I've never done before, but it's kind of pretty fun and OP in some regards, too, which is great for me. Whatevs. It's all good. It's twitch.tv slash jsmithoti, and that's it, Nick. Yeah, hey, my name is Nick. I also coincidentally have a YouTube channel, as you might have noticed on that little box over on the left side of the screen there. It says youtube.com slash rockleysmile. I cover hundreds of indie games now. I've covered 360, I think, going for that year. Very close. We're going to make it. It's very good. I do weird games. I do creative games, artistic games. I try to approach them from a sort of critique-oriented angle, like it was an art show or something. I don't know. Anyway, I do a new video every single day. I also do Let's Play series. I'm doing one right now of uh, uh, Shadow Warrior, and I'm also trying to 100% Scribble Knots Unlimited. So come check it out if you are interested. There will be more in the future. I also have a Twitter account, which is at Rockley Smile, so if you want to come say hey over there, that'd be very cool. And a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Indie Impressions, and lastly, a website with some forums called Indie-Impressions.com, so I hope to see you over there. All right. Is anyone close to a milestone? Uh, uh, I think I'm about to hit 9,000. Nick's about to hit 9,000. Are you going to make a uh, Dark Souls? Oh, no, I'm not making the <laughs> Dragon yes. Ball Z reference, if you, that's where you're going you with could, that. Though. Oh, no. You I should. Can. All right, so Nick's close to 9,000. I'm close to a milestone, actually. What is it? Oh, 150. Yeah, I'm about to hit 150,000. If not, uh... Holy shit. If not... Oh, wait, do we... Oh, my God. Fucking Kellerod just fell off the edge. <laughs> this isn't even the right way to go, time. so... <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He really did just fall off the edge there. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. <laughs> Yeah, and then JJ just did it like a face palm with this guy. It was really good. Oh man, um. <laughs> this guy's a comedy genius. But yes, I am about to hit 150,000. If not today, then probably tomorrow. But you know, to put on my telecom awesome. voice with your help, it could be today. Uh, Kellerod went to go retrieve his corpse, says Jason Beckley. <laughs> so maybe I can finally get Bake 69 in here. Bake 69. Baked 69. It's a pretty okay. good name. I mean, it's not it's not baked like. Oh, I thought it, it was B A K E. Okay, my mistake. Yeah, no, it's like B A I K or something. Your princess like Poncho says, although short-lived, Kellerod's second appearance on the stream will not be forgotten. It's true. That's great. How he just <laughs> fell off the edge. Oh, I always appreciate adding some humor to the stream. In any case. By the way, I totally forgot to mention, um, we do have trivia today. Forget. Sweet. Are we excited? Should yeah, I be excited? I'm, I'm giving away copies of Legend of Grimrock. Oh, that's a good game. Yeah. I've played that game. It's on sale on, sale on Steam uh, today. It's for... on sale. It is not on sale at all. <laughs> it's on sale on Steam today for uh It is old bread. Bucks. 
It's a little old. Like, it's a year old. There's a new one. Oh, it's not out yet, they're, but... They're adding nature to it soon. What is that supposed to mean? There's a, the outside sections now. That's the big deal. Ah, okay. Is it still grid-based? I don't know, yeah. man. I really want that game to have uh, turn-based combat. Mm-hmm. Kind of gonna makes sense, doesn't it? I, I, like them, I like it as is. I liked it a lot as is, but... Uh, you want some Dungeons of Dreadmore style? Well, action. yeah, it just seemed like with the grid-based and the kind of like weird uh, movement mechanics, it seemed that turn-based combat was like the most sensical direction to go in. Right. In my opinion, at least. Of course, this is just one man. What would be the most nonsensical direction? I don't know, if it was a fucking like sports game or something. <laughs> That'd be real sweet. If it, if it just had like the combat of, of like Madden 06 or something. Mini games. Didn't they call that like Blood Bowl or something? I thought they made that game. Uh, Blood Bowl's it's kind of strategic. It's just got like a sports kind of like uh, aesthetic or you it's know. like ogres playing football. With yeah, it's kind of like that. Um, <laughs> you guys played Battle Wait. Block yet? No, what? not yet. Because I didn't. I don't know when you are on the. Pl I'm only gonna play with you. Really. Battle Block? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll get that whenever you want to play. I have money ready on my account for it. Yeah. Oh, easy big shot. Me, when you want to play with me, I'll buy. Oh, it. are we being invaded? Yeah, we're being invaded. I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. Dark spirit count. Did you have to do laundry? I have to do laundry. Oh tonight. fuck so, you, man. I really do. <laughs> JJ, J Jash, if you're watching this, we're, you know we're gonna fight this dude on the bridge. So don't even sweat it. Just try not to fall off. We'll be okay. I promise. I hope we get some tweets from uh, at J Smith Laundry. Holy today. shit, J Jash. You are the fucking man amongst men. Yeah, dude, good, <laughs> worthwhile shrug. I'm pretty sure you just parried the shit out of that dark wizard. That was beautiful. It was. It was really good. I should definitely get the blood stain here. J Jash, don't push me off the edge. I might look small, but I'm not. I don't care if you're big. I'll fight you a lot. <laughs> That's good. I, I, I have confidence this guy's going to show me where Sif is. We also have a uh, summon sign. It's Schnitzel! Schnitzel is like one of those dudes who shows up, so he's like a guest star on a sitcom. We need like our own song for him whenever he shows up. Like that South Park episode whenever he says, um... Or whenever Butters is on, it's like, Who's that guy with the twinkle in his step? <laughs> Always got a big smile on his face, everyone knows it's Butters, etc, etc. Anyway. I like when he kicks off his shoe in that dance recital, and then yeah. he kills everyone in the entire room. I got something in my front pocket for you. <laughs> Why don't you reach in my pocket and see what it is? <laughs> and then he's got the song about the apples. You know, Lulu, Lou, I got some apples. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Kate is laughing her ass off, though. <laughs> <laughs> She's killing herself laughing. Hi, Kate. <laughs> she, can't, she can't hear what you're saying. Oh. She's playing Etri in Odyssey 4. Answered man oh, wants I to chat. To that. Sif's hey, behind guys. an illusory wall at the top of that column ramp thing to the right of the elevator you haven't noticed yet. That is a list of directions entirely pertaining to things I haven't seen yet, and therefore I have no point of reference. Jake, uh, J Jash 2, if you can find Sif for me and this shortcut, I would be forever in your debt. <laughs> Crazy Mike singing the Apple song. <laughs> what? Lou, 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 I got some apples. Lou, 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 you got some too. Is I don't know if that's the tune there. <laughs> that is pretty Excuse much me? it. Those are the lyrics. The Josh, you missed uh, the, Nick and I were singing. Well, mostly me. I was singing the the Butters song from South Park. You did well. Someone's got a little. Wait, no, yeah, we did that one too. For you. Yeah. <laughs> well, open open up. Up. To see what, see it, what is. it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that song. Yeah, that song. Yeah. And the and the one where they like. On the Butters episode where he like accidentally kills somebody, I can't remember how it goes. What uh, is it? But you were singing. Yeah. It, but no, I remember how the goes. song goes. I don't remember the episode. Oh. Who's how's that the boy go? with the letter do do do? Who do do in a who do do? You know. You just say herpity derp for everyone. You know, you don't need to verify it. I'm sure you'll just believe it. But that is how I sing most of my songs here. <laughs> Plus, you know, helps avoid copyright violation. Yes. Is this an illusory wall? Is this an illusory wall? What's this message? Yeah. I did it. Is it a Dave Matthews band up here or something? Is it salty and I don't know what he means. Is it a salty surprise? Oh, the surprise. Okay, I didn't catch the first message. You guys know what's a great song? Uh. A, a Salty Salute by Guided by Voices. 
I'll listen to it. I did five voices. They have. I didn't like the those two albums that you told me to get, like the real short ones. Yeah, with, like, those, all those that's short like the best albums they've ever made. I didn't like, like post altar bridge or something. Wait, post altar bridge. What the heck are like, you guys talking about? Three levels like... removed from Creed or something. It sounds like a Jesus band. It, oh, it, I guess it does kind of sound like a Christian rock band, but it's not. Yeah. Oh. oh well, I guess I'm just gonna follow my death. So thanks a lot, J Jash. That was fun. You need oh, J no. Wentworth in here. J G Wentworth is a sick man. Well, I mean, he's probably not that good sick. But, Michael like, Adams yeah. is a smart dude. B thousand is the best album of the '90s. I don't necessarily agree, but it is very good. Very, very what good. I like now thirty-eight. Now, now, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's the one. It's got uh, say my name. It's got um. Don't go chasing waterfalls. By oh TLC. yeah. Um, what's the one? Um, Salt and Pepper the, song. The Brandy is on there. and Monica. Um, Geller. Oh, yeah, shit. Geller. Not Monica Geller. You think Don's. <laughs> Do the collapse. That's my favorite guy boy voices. Do they really? Yeah, I like it a lot. Well, that's Dude, cool, Teenage FBI is sweet. Yeah, Teenage FBI is a great song. Liquid Indian's good. What's a Liquid Indian? You don't What's want to know. Song? It sounds like a drink, like a really. It sounds really does. It's a, like a Dude, really. Dude, Cowboy Dan sense. is a really good Indian song. What is? Cowboy Dan. It's a really By good Modest Indian Mouse. song. Yeah. Oh, indie. Mm I think he said Indian. Oh. Yeah, he is. He's like Native American or First Peoples. <laughs> He's on the reservation. He goes out and drinks and gets mean. I wouldn't He's necessarily say it. it's a... <laughs> that's, that's the real lyric. I wouldn't necessarily say it's an Indian song, though. I mean... I would. It's American. Decidedly. American. You're decidedly not American. <sighs> If you don't like America, you can just get out, Northline. <laughs> I know, I barely get in. <laughs> I'm getting in you. Okay, Kellerod's back. Don't fuck it up, Kellerod. <laughs> Fool me once, you know, we don't have to go down this road again. Uh, it's telling me to summon Kellerod again. I don't think that's, I mean, it would be awesome, but it's not necessary. Crazy Mike! This crazy Mike! Do I finally see your summon sign, my savior? Guy says Imagine the shortcut if is Crazy nice, Mike right? got in and Crazy Mike just like fell off something and that was the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure this Crazy Mike is. Oh, it says NL. Is that you, Crazy Mike? This Crazy Mike? Yeah, it really is. I'm pretty sure it is. Wait, what is it? You see. Crazy him. Mike underscore 1991. E no. I remember his no. thing saying this Crazy Mike back in the day. Did it though? Are you sure? He's doing yet. Yeah, well, what is it? Of course it's him. <laughs> There's Are only sure? like six gestures in the whole game. <laughs> I know that was my sign. Well, yeah, you got maybe. I guess let's let's do this. Michael Palmer. Yeah, oh, it's, he it's says him. it's me. It's him. That is. It's that Michelle is. Obama's arms. <laughs> this, uh, this You're gonna get reunion. me put on some kind of list. Oh no, it's I'll be on the list too, though. People are keep yelling at me now. They're like, Michael A. L. Fox wants into the call. Yeah, we all know. I told him 4:30. It's not me being a dick. It's just that the commentary is not gonna make much sense. This guy comes in here, and starts talking about you know sour cream and onion potato chips. He will too. That's gonna <laughs> it's gonna work for Trackmania, man. You probably want to talk about cheese a lot. I like cheese. I'm not gonna lie to you. You don't like cheese more than Michael A. Fox. No, because he's like an artisan cheese lover. Yeah. Ooh, he's... I had an eight-year-old Gruyere today. It was beautiful. <laughs> I had an eight-year-old Gruyere today. He was wow. Really good at hockey. <laughs> it sounds like you had sex with Daniel Briere's son. I would have. Wow. All right. Wait, what? Yeah. What are you saying, man? You, you can't run on autopilot. Oh my God! What's wrong with me? What is this guy doing? One more Chris here. All right. Well, everyone's gonna get in at like 4:30. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying hi. All right. I like Omer. I'm glad people are. Hey, what's up with this guy? You guys just gonna leave this humanity ding dong here? You think that's funny? Wait, what? Apparently Go so. Go get Sith. That's, I think that's what we're doing, man. Crazy Mike is just like cutting a path here. <laughs> Whoa, he just kicked a hole in this rock. You should kick a hole in the humanity ghosts. Crazy Mike is so good at Dark Souls that he can modify the geometry. <laughs> yeah, but he's the fucking... He kick a hole in that rock. Yeah. He's the key holder or whatever, the key bearer from Matrix. Not yeah, that's the... what I, I was going to go for that or the, the architect Gatekeeper. from the Inception. Gatekeeper. Oh, it's the key what master. The key? Or key... key master. Dungeon keeper? Nah, it's, it's definitely key something. <laughs> key blade. I'll let you guys handle this if you don't mind. Yeah, I'll take care of it. I got it. 
Enjoy yourself. Why are you running into those huge manatees? Oh, dude, are we saving Sif here? Yeah. I thought I was going to have to fight this dude. So you guys told me he was real annoying. Him. You want to get him while well, he's a puppy so he likes you, and then later on in life he won't want to kill you for the first 30 seconds of the cutscene. Are we, like, traveling back in time or something here? Yes. Where'd he go? We're always doing that. Cleansing Great Shield. Should I put that on? It's very unstable. Crazy Mike, do, uh, well, what is it if I should wear this shield? Other otherwise, just continue <laughs> yeah. business as usual. Do well, what is it? That's his only way to interact. <laughs> Crazy Mike, do well, what is it if? I hope you guys know that. I'm just going to have these guys fight the boss, and I'm going to stand as far away from it as possible. That's Mason a really good, it's a legitimate it strategy for Dark Souls. This dude shoots out bullet hell patterns after a while, so you're going to need to do some dodging. No, nah, it's not necessary. You'll be fine. I'll just put on full havels. Crazy Michael absorb all the hits. Put on full havels, double uh, hand my shield. Can you double hand your shield? You can't triple stamp a double stamp. I did that the other day when we were playing Smite, and nobody explained to me why it was bad. You triple stamped a double stamp? Yeah, I triple tramp stamped a double tramp stamp. Wow. That, you're a tattoo artist? After Not you, Kellerod! No, really, be my guest! Now don't fall down the abyss. Just don't look hello! Don't look down. Ooh, hello. hello! Very good! People say, saying I missed my blood stain. All of the items of value that I had were lost ages ago. Hello. What age? <laughs> Crazy Mike doesn't see Dark Souls anymore. He just sees bonds for nets and redheads. I just tried to use A to jump. So that should tell you how my Dark Souls foo is right now. Oh. Yeah. When I was playing against Gwyn, I pressed. I kept pressing X to attack. <laughs> Are you playing like Devil May Cry recently or something? I don't know. It was just like it. Is, it just made sense for. Dude, that's that's I'm the on. attack button in third-person action games. It's X X X X Y is the combo. You gotta remember yes. that. <laughs> and then I just kept eating Estus, and I was like, "Don't eat Estus right now." <laughs> <laughs> I kept doing it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Gotta beat the boss so we can warp back to Anor Londo and do invasions on Wednesday. No pressure. It's gonna be Calamie, man. You got a crazy dragon to fight. No, it's not gonna happen, Nick. Oh no. This DLC is rocking me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Keep we, on a rocking me, baby. We are at uh, 2,100 viewers, by the way. 2,133. That's pretty Don't good. Get those 30 right. It's pretty good for a Monday What's when I didn't the... set the stream up until like an hour before it started. The highest point was like 22 or something now. Uh, I think we've had we had like a 2300 at some point. Nice. Now I've got to dodge the first attack. All right, so far so good. <laughs> Where's my dudes? Did you win yet? Dudes, come back! We're, we're, they're coming. There's your dog. That'd be hilarious if all your dudes just abandon you. Yeah, it's like they use their crystal. Or Crazy something. Mike says, "Fuck this, I'm out of here." <laughs> Like, oh, I didn't know I had to fight one of these. Manus, father of the abyss. Manus, the hands of fate. Yeah, that's, Manus. that's... The hands of fate. I said that a lot of times when I was playing this. Mystery Science Theater, man. Manus. <laughs> Manus, the hands of fate is a great episode, too. And why there's a picture of a burger on your wall. Man, I love the movie so much. Oh, I haven't seen the movie, actually. That's probably my favorite thing about Mystery Science Theater 3000. Is the film for the- Oh, the well! Film, it's so funny. I'll tell you it's what, uh, I'm just gonna die, die, Crazy Mike and Kellerod, if you don't mind. You died? Yep. Uh, little did I know, Manus actually has an attack where he just beats you. Mercil- most, Yeah, just mercilessly. Yeah, like death. one attack just kills you. Pulse, your, pulse your whole thought process behind this battle was to, like... Hide. Stay back. What, are you, what am I, a pussy or something? That's what I do. Yeah, I know. Do you, do you want me to repeat myself? Yeah. The uh, the Twitter feed that I'm getting is great right now. Sif would have saved you. Next, Sif is useless. Next, you should have waited for Sif. Next, dude, Sif would have done it. <laughs> wow. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna rest this bonfire. I think we're gonna cut the Dark Souls basically now. So we have time for trivia and also yeah. the surprise and also track mania. Surprise! In the meantime, I am going to um, go to the bathroom. Yes.
But I'm gonna give you guys a second to pimp your channel. Take as long as you want, aka... You're no. gonna take a dump. No, I'm not gonna take a dump. <laughs> that would take like 20 minutes. I'd have to cancel the stream. You have to put on the pixies. Here you Go ahead, Nick. All right, I'll go first. Yeah, we rotate back and forth. I guess the agreement. Watch the the, <laughs> the viewers drop every time we, we get to 69. this one. Yeah, yeah, that's true, actually. So, hey, I'm Nick. Uh, I ate 69 with Josh Smith, apparently. <laughs> Uh, he said it, not me. But if you want to come visit my channel, it's youtube.com slash smile. I play a different indie game every single day. I've been doing it for nearly a year. I intend on keeping doing it for another year at least, if not longer than that, if you guys will continue to support me the way you have lately. Uh, so come check out the weird games. I play all the weirdest ones I can find, and they're a lot of fun. And I also do Let's Play series, as well as the occasional vlog and machinima type of weirdness. I just do weird stuff in general. That's what I like. Uh, I also have a Twitter handle, which is at Rockley Smile. So if you want to come visit me over there and say, hey, have a nice discussion about indie games and the state of the industry and listen to me bash on Connect games sometimes, I do that. Um, I also have a Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash indie impressions and a website, which is indie impressions.com. I have forums. I do game giveaways. I do contests, all kinds of good stuff. So I hope to see you there. Over to you. Hey, everybody. What is hey. that? <laughs> I was talking into a cup. I, I figured. <laughs> Jason and those guy. You can check out the YouTube channel. I put up a video like every day, and it's super fun. Um, current shenanigans is Oregon Trail. Later this week is more Don't Starve, and I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow uh, the new update if it goes live in time. Yeah. Um, you can check out the live stream at twitch.tv slash jsmithoti, youtube.com slash jsmithoti, and I also have... A Twitter account, which you should follow as well, is twitter.com slash jsmith underscore OTI. All right. And do I have like a second to go get some water? Yeah, go ahead, man. Oh, man. Can I talk into this cup a little bit more? No, just go get some water. Okay. 89, 69 subscribers. Oh, uh, Nick is, is pretty close. That's what we can do in the meantime. We can just do like a pimp Nick's channel. <laughs> He's at 89, 69. I just figured Josh would be enticed. I'm not gonna put it up on the screen. I'm just gonna watch it in the meantime. Because when I put it up That's on the screen, right. people think it's hilarious to subscribe yeah, and then unsubscribe. You crossed a million total views too. That's really impressive. Yeah, thank you. I was very excited about that. It, it stuck at nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred eighty-nine thousand views for three days. I saw that. <laughs> I looked yesterday. Oh, and I was like, ah, oh, Nick's views, eleven views away from a million. Yeah. And then, like twelve hours later, I was like, he's eleven views away from a million. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in any he's case. Again, Boy in a Barrel asked me on Twitter, he's like, hey, as a Pixies fan, what song were you listening to when you poop? And the answer, somewhat ironically, I guess, is I Bleed. Oh. <laughs> you think that's funny? No. That's really bad. <laughs> Kate could not keep a straight face when I said that one. <laughs> Can't blame her. Oh, that's, anyway. Josh, are you back now? I'm back. All right, as you mentioned, know? we are going to be giving away okay. copies of... Um, Legend of Grimrock today. So, anyone want to take an uncreative guess at to what the trivia category will be? Stuff about rocks. Wow, you are a smart dude. Yeah. YouTube.com slash Rockley Smile. What? It's geology questions. It's not It's not stuff okay. about rocks, you know, it's the standard. I took geology in college. All right, thanks I, a lot. Hematite. Basically, it's not going to be about rocks. They're just going to have rock in the answer. Can it be about light? Rock, alternative rock. Sure, I mean they they could be about a lot of things as long as it has rock to do with it. All right, could be about good. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh, I hope so. All right, so we're gonna be flipping a, a Yugoslavian Yugoslavian twenty para coin here. It's not a toonie. Hey, Josh, we're trying to be worldly here to make up for the European viewers who are you know it's oftentimes really late at night for them. I want to include some. They're, just, they're all asleep. Here's some Yugoslavian currency. So, Josh, do you want uh, the torch or the twenty? You know what? The Fuck this. This coin sucks. We're finding a new one. <laughs> this coin is garbage. <laughs> oh my goodness. Your, your yeah, whole Yugoslavian viewership coin. just dropped off. Okay, we're going to go with the American voting coin 2004. It sounds like so the worst. One coin. side is George W. Bush <laughs> and the other side is John Kerry. I want oh, the George Bush you... side. Can I have that? Wait, yes. Nick lost last time, so he gets to choose. I get the George Bush side. You want the George Bush side. Okay, here we go. So I'm, it's on John Kerry right now, and they have done... <laughs> A god awful <laughs> job oh my god, porting this man's face to iron. He looks like the uh, the Squidward picture. <laughs> <laughs> the one I'm talking about. He does. You're correct. You're really silly. Where his like, cheeks are really sunken in. Yeah. Um, all right, here we go. 
John Kerry or George W. Bush. Uh, Nick has gone for George W. Bush. The coin is George W. Bush. Yeah. So there are five questions, Nick. I'm going to head you off at the pass with your obvious question. I demand a revote. Recount. All right, I'll flip it again. I'll there you go, George again. W. Bush, twice in a row. <laughs> you know I'm going to win. <laughs> Just as it was in history. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Nick, you want to go first or second? I want to go first, because who, who has ever picked second, honestly? It, it, the time you Wait, pick second, it'll actually okay. work for you. Anyway, oh, okay. if you want to, basically, if you haven't been here before, we give away five copies of a game every stream. Nick and Josh play against each other for bragging rights, but the first person to correctly answer my question on Twitter, twitter.com slash northernlionlp, will also get uh, a copy of Legend of Grimrock sent to you in your inbox within 24 hours. Give me some time here. In any case, you ready, Nick? I think so. All right. These questions vary in difficulty depending on your interests. But question one. This song from British pop star Robbie Williams had an infamous music video where the singer ripped off all of his own skin to impress a lady. I know, there's that song about when I rule the world. I think that's the only one I can think of. That has nothing to do with rocks. Maybe you can that just might not, is that even Robbie rock Williams? it somewhere. I don't know. I is guess it, I'm talking through this one. Uh, I guess I don't know or uh, when I rule the world because that's the only thing I can think of. When I rule the world is incorrect. Josh, do yeah, you have an answer? Robbie ripped off all of his own skin. I I want to rock. I want to rock. You're, you're all wrong, by the way. Yeah. Uh, the correct answer was rock DJ. That's uh, stupid. I wouldn't have guessed that. You know the answer. Hiss. What are you talking about? Ooh, I don't want to run, you know, DJ. It's <laughs> pretty good. Um, okay, so Erasmus Joe Trail, boy in a barrel, constantly talking to us on Twitter, also won that one. Didn't he get banned? He did for a while, but now he's back. Oh, that's good. He was like four seconds ahead of anybody else, so. I think there's just a, there's a, a mixture of people being like, in the right zone to get like good stream connections and also uh, a lot of those people are just really quick and good yeah very yeah. knowledgeable people right so we have zero zero right now going into the second question for Josh are you ready uh yeah oh good all right just <laughs> okay. just checking there you sound ready this villainous rhinoceros made up half of a duo that was a Rock real steady. horn oh, God damn it you didn't even let me say my joke you're right though <laughs> but I was gonna say he makes up half of a duo that was a real horn in the side. Excuse me, thorn in the side of the Teenage Mutant oh, Ninja Turtles. That's, that's good. Right, you're you're correct. It's Rocksteady. I, oh I, I knew I wanted to have Rocksteady in there, but I didn't know how to um, like frame it in a way that was not yeah. like an obvious answer. Yeah. So I tried. But I was gonna ask like. You know, right, which one's rock steady? Is he the rhino or like the pig? But then you guys are always like, "There's not rock in the answer," and I was like, "Ah, fine." Well, thanks for you know capitulating to our whims. Exactly. Winner of that Great. one, John Hartung, at Narpaz. It's a great name. Man, I should have gone second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think he's actually won before, so quit your belly aching, everybody. Question three, Nick, are you ready? I think so. This type of chocolate-based ice cream usually contains nuts and marshmallows. It's Rocky Road. That is correct. It is Rocky Road. Rocky Road, Dublin. One, two, three, four, five. What the heck is that? Oh, that's um, <laughs> Rocky Road to Dublin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doc Steady, somebody sent me. All right, that one's going to go to uh, Eye on the Ground. Nathan Grant, which is coincidentally the name of someone I went to high school with. It's probably a common name. I'm sorry, Hammerschnizd. At some point, I, you know, Hammerschnizd, I'll hook you up with some kind of gift copy. Because it's not fair that I banned you forever and then just gave one to um, Boy in the Barrel. But at the, same, <laughs> at the same time, I did just promise one to Eye on the Ground. So, Nathan Grant, you're going to win that one. Hammerschnizd, tweet me in like 12 hours and I'll hook you up with something. I promise you that. Um, uh, Josh, are you ready? It's 1-1 right now. I'm ready. For question two to Josh. Question four overall. This General Mills-owned brand is famous for its line of baking products, including cake and brownie mixes. Betty Crocker. Shit, that was a really good one. Yeah, Yeah, well done. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed Betty Crocker. That was, that was impressive, man. Thanks. Thanks, dude. 
Nobody's answered on Twitter yet, so you might have actually been in the rare case where you're giving the answer to Twitter. Wow. Uh, but yes, now, Lyrix Sirion, who may have won in the past, but was also... Or, sorry, Lyx Sirion, was also very quick on that one. It's going to be the winner of that one. And it's now 2-1 uh, for Josh, so Nick's got to get this one right. Yeah, for the tie. For the tie. Exciting. Uh, Sweaty docker. Here we go. <laughs> Scene, right. scene 8 <laughs> Question 5 This song from Smashing Pumpkins was track 1 on their album Siamese Dream and was later included on both the Guitar Hero 3 and Rock Band setlist It's not coming to me, Josh Brandon, wins. Brandon, I, I've Brandon, played it Brandon, played Brandon, six times. I got it. What is it, Josh? Do it. It's Cherub Rock. It is Cherub Rock. Cherub Rock, that's it. It's a great song. Really good song. I'm surprised my uh, rendition didn't <laughs> jar anything <laughs> in your mind. Man. I've played that game a lot of times. <laughs> Do you have a problem? No, you're, you're a good singer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to me. So now, okay, I just gotta see who said first. Okay, it's Cameron Van den Heuvel at Kugelschnaps, which is exactly the name that I would have expected <laughs> given the real name there. That's just great. I mean, no disrespect by that either. Google Schnapps? Google Schnapps. Google Schnapps. Uh, let me make like... sure I've got that. Yeah, okay, perfect. So, Boy in a Barrel, Narpaz, Eye on the Ground, Lyric Sirion, and Google Schnapps. You are today's winners. And Josh wins for like the third time or fourth time in a row. I thought Nick won last time. No, no you we won had a last tie, time. I think. Oh, sorry, I've totally forgotten then. But no, I mean Josh has been taking most of them lately. He has indeed. Um, so I I, it's, it's about Good time game. to reveal what this surprise is going to be. I just need a second. Oh, to I set, can't wait. I just need a second to set this up. Why don't we bring in um, Michael A. L. Fox? Oh, oh I'm on for it. now, because I think he would make an interesting part to this. And yeah, if someone could tell Omrecker that it's going to be like another 20 minutes or so. Omrecker, it's going to be like 20 minutes or so. If You've done it. If he's watching this, then that's okay. And I also, Skype him. whatever uh, Red Panda Gamer is coming to. But for now, I'm signing into Desura because we're going to do a little Northern Lion Choose Your Own Adventure story time. Oh boy. I bought this game yesterday. should put on like the real overlay here. Uh, I bought this game yesterday called Strange... Loves vampire boyfriends. Are you excited? I I don't know what to make of that, but it sounds exciting. It's a visual novel. Those are always what good. Have I done here? I think I accidentally always. launched the wrong game. Um, no, I didn't. That's that's right. <laughs> it's a visual novel uh, about a young lady who is in her final year of college, uh, and she, you know, may or may not fall in love with a vampire, depending on the choices that you make. Oh. There's gonna be hentai and this isn't there. I don't think so. Oh, it's on. see some vampire boobs. No, sh she's she's not a vampire. I want to see some non-vampire boobs. I want to see any boobs. Let's bring on the boobs. You're on the internet, dude. Just go look at boobs then. <laughs> oh yeah, let me just Google boobs for a second. Yeah, there's like some licensed music here. I'm just gonna assume that it's not gonna get me copyright fucked on YouTube, but that's okay. All right, so I got Strange Love's vampire boyfriend uh, up on the screen right now. It's literally like a visual novel, so it's just like pages of a book, and yeah. I'm gonna read it for you guys, uh, and you I, guys are gonna choose. I added Fox. Is he here? Yeah, now he's he's probably pissed off because I told him he couldn't be here for two seconds. Yeah, I hear him. Oh shit, he's being quiet. I see him. He's writing something down on a piece of paper. Whatever. It, it, let me know if the audio balance is good. By the way, I do have Tweet Deck up again possible this song might be a little bit too loud uh, but in any case are you ready to read the game book yeah super ready all right this is gonna be I'm not it could be a failure could be an enormous success I played a little bit of this last night and it is exactly what you would fucking expect so this should be pretty hilarious as we get started so this is strange loves vampire boyfriend I'm gonna crank it down a little bit on the volume side here because this rock song is just a little bit too rocky for me all right just so you know, if you didn't already catch on, this is not a normal book. It's better. Much better. Because in a normal book, the only way you can participate in the story is by turning the page. Fuck you, Tolstoy! Strange Love Vampire Boyfriends shits all over your shitty archaic art form. 
But with a strange loves book, you get to choose your path through the story. Blah, 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 blah. Shall we get started? I think yeah. so. So we're yeah. gonna choose a name. Is, is Michael L. Fox here yet? He's been here. All he did. Oh my god, what was that? Whoa. You just to that. Whoa. Like an alien is taking over. <laughs> yeah, what happened there? We just got XCOM'd. You're, are you, are, did you accidentally just like prank call someone and tell them you were gonna sexually assault them or murder them and then you forgot to take the thing off the end of your phone? Yes, yes. <laughs> what? Mike, you gotta oh, figure this out, man. You sound like a robot. Not even like the normal we're out of bandwidth robot, like death robot. Yeah, it sounds like you have like a sock on your mic. <laughs> like 20 socks, actually. Made of metal. You have all the socks. All right, Nick. Why don't you give me a, a name here? Uh, wh what are we naming? We're naming a. Lady We're naming a, a young college. lady. Might I suggest something, you know, silly, so that we get uh, the added humor of like, he leaned in close to boob face and then whispered in her ear. Can you name her Pussy Lips McGee, or is that too long? You know what? I will name her Pussy Lips. All right. I don't want to give her a last name necessarily. This is already pretty misogynistic. Let's get what started here. necessarily was her last name? Maybe her name, she just got one name, like Cher. Crazy Mike, by the way, said name her Doc San. But anyway. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Or Betty Docker. I'm gonna go with Doc San, I apologize. No, that's fine, I actually prefer that. All right. Uh, so we're gonna get started here. I hope this song stops, otherwise I'm just gonna mute it. It doesn't stop. So we're just gonna turn that down to zero, if you're okay with that. All right. Flipping the pages here, we're finally ready to get started. Uh, so I'm gonna read to you in my, my best possible Fifty Shades of Grey voice. And we're gonna do a little choose your own adventure time, so settle up, get a snack and a drink if you don't mind, and uh, we're about to get started. In fact, you know what, let me tweet about this very quickly first, just so people don't miss it. Prepare to be hot and bothered. <laughs> Northern Lion Wayne, Live Erotic Story Time starts <laughs> now. All right, it has been tweeted. Here we go. <laughs> and so it shall be tweeted and forever be tweeted. The moment you stepped on the campus of Mountain State College, nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina, hey Josh, there you go, you hey! knew you were meant to be there. Every walkway was tree-lined, the expanses of grass were green and lush, the stone buildings of the campus felt warm and inviting, probably like something else we'll find out about later, and everyone was so friendly. With the golden scum warming your golden sun, not golden scum, golden scum, warming your skin, you could imagine in between class naps on the capitalized L lawn, using your backpack as a pillow, <laughs> hazing in and out of the sleep as you watch the hippies in their handmade corduroy pants wrestling with their dogs, hotly debating your teachers and classmates about literary theory, sitting on large flat rocks along bubbling brooks, eating cheese and drinking wine. Life would be good here. That is it. Terrible. That is exactly like college. <laughs> <Isn't it? laughs> Doing Jager bombs and beer bongs and then throwing up and falling asleep in it. <laughs> you were not Dude, wrong. Like Your case. first three years at Mountain State College were exactly that. A beautiful breeze, even when the magical snowy winters arrived. Always early, always cold, harsh, and sometimes icy. You just bundled up, found a fireplace and a good book, or a cute boy, and enjoyed your safe. In Berber. The place was positively enchanting. Sure, there were reports of strange happenings and weird disappearances. But you yourself never witnessed anything too far out of the ordinary. You just chalked it up to a superstitious student body and apparently a very suspect police force. And just moved on. Uh, let's move on a little bit here. We're going to turn to page 238. I can't keep up a straight face for a while here. Read, uh, read it in Michael Caine. <laughs> So here you stand, at the first day of your senior year. <laughs> You've been back for a few days, and finally all the box... I can't do it for that long either. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> that was pretty good. All right, so here we go. Tomorrow's the first day of classes. The last first day of school ever. Unless you do a master's or something, I guess. You have a little... It's the last first day of school ever, and your first decision is to pick your major, which seems a little incongruent to me, but... Whoa. You, usually you figure that out a little bit earlier than senior year of college, but... Yeah. You have a little flutter of excitement in your stomach, just like you always do the day before the first day of school. You love learning and interacting with your teachers and classmates. This year, as a senior, you're really anxious to delve into your major. 
Now you have but your you first have choice. Thing. Remember that you can use a bookmark as a save point at any time and come back here. So, uh, Josh, why don't you tell me, which major did we choose? Theater, with a flair for the dramatic, you're poised to take the school and eventually the world by storm. Interdisciplinary studies, mixed martial arts, and Eastern philosophy. You designed your own major, a mix of mixed martial arts and Eastern philosophy with a, with a dash of dance. Or yes. you could just drop out of school, move to Chicago, and start writing your book. That one. You want to drop, drop out of school? Yes. I'm pretty sure this is the textbook choose your own adventure, like just why'd you even open you, the book you just option? Lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's can you go back? That's what I picked. Alright, okay, we're gonna go with that. Okay, so we've dropped out of school, we're moving to Chicago to start writing our book. <laughs> <laughs> that was Man, fun. we built it up and everything, and she's just immediately <laughs> quitting. Yeah, I always love school. That's why I quit it on the first day of my <laughs> senior year. Alright. <laughs> So she's in Chicago. One afternoon, you're on your, the L to meet up with some friends to take in an avant-garde performance art piece. You're completely engrossed in your knitting, and you're at the very end of binding off a scarf. You've been tinkering with designing patterns, and this one is your finest creation. It is by far the coolest scarf you've made yet. Good fucking job. As you bind off the last stitch, a tall man with salt and pepper hair and thick black glasses sitting near you stands up and starts frantically looking around. His movements catch your attention, and you watch him for a moment as he methodically searches the seats. Can I help you, you ask? He looks up at you, surprised that someone spoke to him. I lost my scarf, he says in a pitiful voice. Sorry. I lost my scarf, he says in a pitiful voice. <laughs> that voice! You know that voice! And you cannot believe your luck! You're talking to the modern American storytelling pioneer and indie hipster idol host of This Americano Life, Ira Blass. So, uh, I guess we find his scarf for him. And then he asks us, what's our story? So we tell him about moving to Chicago from Lily Valley, and then we're actually working on a book about what a strange place it is and the people who live there. Their personal stories are so interesting and have such unexpected twists. Ira is enthralled with your story, which is especially amazing since he's pretty much the king of storytelling, in case you didn't know. I absolutely can't wait to read it, he thinks for a moment, then says, I think I'd like to publish this. Wow. Which probably means that he is perhaps the worst businessman of all time. <laughs> He's this king of storytelling, though. I, He's just trying to get in our I'm pants. A... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what's supposed to happen. Oh, finally. I've been here the whole time. Yeah, yeah you turned into a robot been for a while. my though. life away. We couldn't hear you. That's because I wasn't talking. <laughs> You're making robot sounds, though. All right, so we resolve to turn around and go straight home to finish writing our book. A year later, your book Peaks and Valleys in Lily Valley has been on the New York Times bestseller list for six weeks in a row. You're having celebratory drinks with Ira Blass and your new friends, gritty author Chucky Palahniuk, screenwriter director Jennifer Eastfeld, comedian writer Kristen Wagg, and writer producer sci fi goddess Jane S. Persen to talk about how to handle the film rights to your story as well as the options for a sequel. They all keep telling you how fabulous you are and that you're the new voice of a generation. The end. Exactly. Josh, you Kristen just Wagg. You won the game. Out of school, bitches, you win. You drop, dropped out of school. Immediately wrote. First off, Peaks and Valleys and Lily Valley sounds like the worst title for a book of all time. It's a teen comedy. It does. It sounds like fucking Sweet Valley High or something. Yeah. But, you know, I guess we're talking to some sci fi goddess about how we're going to turn this riveting space age tale into a, a movie and a sequel. In any case. I would talk to the king of storytelling for that. <laughs> yeah, I reblast. I reblast. <laughs> all right, so we're going to do this again because Josh just broke the game. I won. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's Without that's it. You took the you took the road less book. traveled, man, and it worked out really well for and you. And you saved everyone time. I mean, honestly, that was the fastest way to get through the whole thing. It was. So let's let's skip by here. We'll still be uh, Michael L. Fox. You have a a penchant for coming up with silly names. What's a silly name for a lady? Um, Jessica. <laughs> wow. Can we ban you, you from the chat? Silly name Shaniqua. Go with Shaniqua. That's just racist. Why is that a silly, why is that a silly name? Yeah. Racist. It's a silly name. I don't wow. care what race you are. Shani Making Shaniqua. a big stand here on the Northern Line Live Super Show, learning a lot of stuff I didn't know about you. <laughs> what does it even mean? <laughs> what give me a real funny name. Something good thirteen okay, year old. Would a laugh real at. funny name. Um uh, Boo Boo Kitty Fuck. I'm gonna go with boob face. <laughs> boob face is not as good as boo boo kitty fuck. You're just taking, you're appropriating things from other media. I don't appreciate it. So we're gonna go back I'm to. Still... We're gonna go back, back to where yes. we were earlier, where we choose our major. 
And uh, Nick, why don't you would you want interdisciplinary studies with mixed martial arts and Eastern philosophy, or theater? It's a tough choice. I really kind of am curious how the mixed martial arts are going to factor into her love life. So let's see that. Dude, it's like being at a fucking like frozen yogurt place or something. You just make your own major apparently. Yeah. Out of whatever you want, Krav Maga, Judo, Parkour, Gymnastics, Ballet, Belly Dance, Baseball, and Yoga. Parkour is parkour. martial arts? Parkour and belly dance. Capoeira is like martial arts that almost is like dancing, but... Alright, our story returns. Your friends like to tease you about majoring in gym and parkour and belly dance, but they don't realize what kind of education you've gotten at this school. You've become a master at fencing, a state champion swimmer, cost country runner, practically double-jointed from all the yoga that you do, and a world champion docker. As a senior, you're starting off your semester with a killer internship. You applied for so many, you didn't exactly remember actually applying for this one. Again, the mark of a fantastic student. But when you read the description in your acceptance letter, you knew you hit the jackpot. Your advisor is Niles Higginbotham. Not only is he a super famous personal trainer to the stars, but he's also gorgeous and British. Hear that, UK audience? That one's for you guys. He can set you up with your own <laughs> successful business as soon as you graduate. Uh, you've been angling for an opportunity like this since first day of freshman year. Pr ambitious! You've been angling to own your own business since the first day of freshman year, but anyway. Um, I, I've, I've already read through this part, so I'm going to cliff notes it for you. Basically, your friends join you, and they say, Hey, instead of like going to your internship, why don't you get shithouse drunk with us tonight? So that's, that's basically awesome. your choice here. You spend enough nights alone in your room doing the responsible thing. This is your last year of college. Blow off getting extra rest before the first day of your internship and go out and have a good time while you're still young. Or, if do you feel like if you go out, you'll sleep through your first internship meeting and blow off all your hard work, you'd better stay home. Michael A.L. Fox, do you have a, an answer? So I was uh, reading up about the Kardashians. <laughs> What's the question? Do you want to do you want to go out drinking or stay home to make sure you get enough sleep before your new job starts tomorrow? I would absolutely go out drinking. All right. Because it depends. Maybe you're going out drinking with the people who give you the job. Is this an M Night, M. Night Shyamalan movie? <laughs> <laughs> Could be. So we've turned to page three. Again, I'm just gonna skip by this because this is just us going to the bar. But now we're introduced to our first uh, possible love interest. So this is the bartender. The tall, muscular man turns to face the three of you, and your heart stops beating. Because he is a guy. goddamn demented wizard. <laughs> <laughs> he is absolutely gorgeous, with dark hair, warm chocolate brown eyes, and perfect skin. Built like a quarterback and dressed like a jeans model, which, let's be honest, I, he's, I, mean, I guess he's wearing jeans? That's what that means? He's dressed like a... Yeah. maybe he doesn't have his shirt on? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is pretty much your dream guy. Your eyes lock as he walks over. Can I help you? He asks Cindy. <laughs> His eyes not moving from yours. <clears throat> yes, can we get three vodka martinis, please? Up and extra dirty, Alyssa pipes up, smiling oh, seductively man. at him. I have a question. Yes. He says... Can I gotta help you? He yeah. asked Cindy, but his eyes not moving from yours. Yeah. Wouldn't he? How? How can you differentiate that? If he's if his right. eyes looking at me, <laughs> I would assume that he's asking me the question, not Cindy. Fuck Cindy. Yeah, nothing about what he just did there is talking to Cindy. <laughs> Maybe he set up. He's a wizard, man. So he set up like a decoy clone <laughs> or something to talk to them. <laughs> he's a wizard. He nods once, and as he turns, you begin to breathe again. You hadn't realized you were holding your breath. Maybe that's why he's looking at you. He like, does, he's concerned. He's worried. <laughs> I heard he was hot, but holy cow! Break me off a piece of that and swirl it in butter. Cindy is always coming up with the weirdest phrases. You're unable to speak, so you just smile weakly in her general direction. Apparently, if you're Cindy, nobody pays you any attention at all. <laughs> you smile weakly in her general direction. The bartender brings back the drinks, and he sets them on napkins in front of the three of you. He gives you a small, sexy smile as he turns away. You pick up your glass and realize there's writing on the napkin. It has a name, Royce, and a telephone number on it. Maybe he's just a car salesman. <laughs> Your heart starts beating again, and your pulse races, so it's pretty much just, like, up and down, like... You stopped beating? Stops beating, and then it races again. You should seriously hope this guy's a cardiologist. <laughs> yeah. The bartender's head... Okay, this is... I love this line. 
So you, you get his number, and then the bartender's head snaps up like he smells something delicious. <sighs> and he looks at you again. Thank God you're sitting you know down. The is cooking. Because you're weak in the knees. <laughs> Alyssa wow. gasps loudly. <gasps> is that his number? You nod down your drink and tuck the napkin in your bag. Cindy giggles and downs her own drink. Why doesn't anybody ever pay me any attention? God, I'm gonna die alone and penniless. That's right, girl. Let's party like a pack of wild dogs. I didn't make that line up. Then she gets wow, up on her see? knees on her bar stool and yells, Woo! Next drink is on me in honor of my new tattoo. She proudly points to the star tattoo on her wrist. The man oh, sitting next to Cindy specific. looks up at her, tilting his head. Well, hello there, he purrs. I'm Benjamin. What? How do you how do you purr a uh, like a hello? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. pretty good. Oh, I, I went backwards by accident. Royce is, is his eyes are still unmoving, but you're surprised that none of you have noticed him until this moment. He rivals Royce in the looks department, but he's much older and sexy in a Harrison Ford without the earring kind of way. Alyssa motions to the bartender. Wait, what? He's sexy in a Harrison Ford without the earring kind of way. When does Harrison Ford wear an earring? He must have had an earring at some point. Fuck it, put it in the book. I think they're trying to say he's always sexy, but when he wears the earring, he's not sexy, so we're not going to talk about that part. <laughs> Alyssa motions right. to the bartender. Another round! Cindy sloppily turns towards him, almost falling off her stool. She is so attractive and graceful. Hi, she slurs to her new neighbor, so it's like, hi. I'm Shindy. I didn't even make that part up. I'm no, Shindy. I was drunk Indy. <laughs> Shindy impressions, so far, not very good. Oh, Liquor no. always hits her hard. I have a feeling that Benjamin's going to hit her hard a little later. Uh, he takes her hand and helps her down, at the same time inspecting her arm. That is a very alluring tattoo. It's a star. Where did you get your work done? And now you've lost Cindy to a very deep conversation with this smoking stranger. Thankfully, your friends are hot enough to get away with being as obnoxious as they are. At least they're never boring. We should probably skip ahead just a little bit here. Wow. I think this I'm is the, the choice. So Royce has brought back four shots. Which, by the way, if he's drinking at the bar that, that he works at, that's like really unprofessional. But yeah. every time you do shots, things get wild. One shot is usually fine, but the second, third, fourth, and fifth are often too quick to follow, and you've been known to wake up in Mexico. Okay, that only happened one time, and it's a great story. But seriously, even waking up in Mexico once is enough. So I'm sorry to my Mexican viewers out there who have probably done that, you know, 3,000 times in their lives at least. Um, I didn't write it. So here's our choice. Do you throw caution in the wind and take a shot? Or do we do the responsible thing and go home? It's up to you, Josh. Oh. Yeah, obviously we take the shot. You're a smart man. You only live once. You what the hell you say you, throw, you say as you throw your hair back and pick up the small glass? Exactly, Royce says, grinning at you. You toss back the brown liquid in one swallow. Can we just rewind and say that sentence <laughs> wow. again one more time? <laughs> you toss back the brown liquid in one swallow. And the four of you slam the glasses on the bar at the same time. Royce picks up the bottle and pours another round because he is not worried about unemployment or possibly coming across as a total creep. After the second shot, the bartender leans against the bar, which makes perfect sense, actually. We haven't been introduced. I'm Royce, and I see you've met my friend Benjamin. He's a very important television producer. The hunky guy who's been talking to Cindy looks up and smiles at you and Alyssa. He exchanges a meaningful glance at Royce and what looks like a nod. Now, does this not sound like these guys are getting ready to date rape us? Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. he exchanges a meaningful glance with Royce and what looks like a nod. This is Cindy That's and Alyssa. Going, All right, here we go. We're ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> They're actually just saying, like, thank God we cleaned our apartment this afternoon. Uh, <laughs> this is Cindy and Alyssa. You nod to your right, then your left. Royce reaches for your hand, and you feel an electric current before he even touches you. I told you he was a wizard. And you are... <laughs> boob face, you whisper. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful, he murmurs. You, you're beautiful. You mentally smack yourself. Damn shots. Royce just smiles again and pours another round. Before you know what? it, the bar is empty, and the waitstaff is putting chairs on top of tables. Alyssa's nearly asleep with her head on the bar, and Cindy's slow dancing with Benjamin in front of the jukebox. You giggle at your friends as Royce lifts your hand off the bar, softly kissing the tips of your fingers. What a weird man! 
So, I'm off work in about 10 minutes. Do you want to come over and hang out for a while? Now, you don't normally go home with strangers, but this man is gorgeous! His touch is electric, you hazily remember talking to him enough to think you have a lot in common, and you're drunk! Do you decide you can't resist and agree to go home with Royce? Turn to page 11. Or, do you want to go home with your friends? You can take your time getting to know Royce. Nick, this, this one's up to you. <laughs> You're already drunk. I mean, it's the way it goes. You just go hot and heavy, Nick. You gotta go in. All right. Well, he's gotta go in. We're turning to page he's, eleven. He's going in. <laughs> Royce locks the front door to the bar behind you. It's very dark outside, and you're still a bit unsteady. Stay safe, ladies. So you're relieved when he takes your hand. I'm just a short walk this way. You lean in close to him. He inhales sharply, puts his arm around you, and murmurs, "Boob face." Got started. Hey, we're back. We're live. YouTube, live and in color, maybe. Maybe. We'll I see. I can't face. join your track manias. Yeah, just give it a second, man. I gotta get the stream back up before we worry about Doc Mania. Doc, 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 Doc. What is it? Are you trying to be a chicken or something? Uh, yeah, I guess. I'm just making sure the stream still works because, you know, sometimes it doesn't. If you sometimes wanted to it dies. Egg, you'd be pooping Dog out an egg upward or whatever. Yeah. Pooping an egg pooping. upward. Poop Feel free to hit us up on, uh, on Twitter. Egg. If it's actually working again, people say they see us again. That's a good sign. Uh, you know, make sure to tell your friends that if they were watching, they can come back now. So what happened to Boobface? All right, so Boobface died. You guys didn't see it. Like it, the stream died for me right as I said the end. But basically, Royce turns out to be a vampire who just eats her. Which is really sad. Like, yeah, I mean, sexually, hopefully first. <laughs> <laughs> Did he at least get her off before he killed her? No, he just... fucking, like, he just bit her neck and sucked all her blood out and she died. Yeah, she was like a college student, man. She had a whole life ahead That's of her. That's what happens, man. You make one bad mistake and your whole life gets turned upside down. I'm in the like, Northern Lion Super Land. Are you in the uh, Northern Lion Thunderdome? Yeah. All right, so we're going to play know. We're gonna play some Trackmania 2 Stadium now. I've got some administrative right. stuff. You, invite? you don't need an invite, man. Just join Northern Lion Thunderdome. Oh, Lord. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's okay. No, me are you, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Track is hey. having a seizure. Turn it off. Turn it off. I didn't do anything. I didn't. What are you talking about? It's not you. It's Track Mania, man. Track is freaking out. I'm gonna beat all these ding dongs. I'm gonna well, beat all these ding dongs. Understand this goddamn game. Uh, you guys, hey, I got in. You guys are still there, huh? Pretty sure Mania Planet just broke again. Hello out there, we're on the air maybe, I don't know, we might be live again. I don't know what happened, I tried to load Mania Planet and Mania Planet decided to go like straight up Skrillex on me. Uh, so I'm just gonna get back in the Skype call here, you guys probably are not able to see that right now, you're probably just seeing the overlay, but that's okay. Hello uh -huh. everybody. Hey! Hello. Hey, I think we might be back. Uh, the, the track Mania says stream is back on. Trackmania says the stream is back on. What the heck does that mean? The people on Trackmania. The people on the people on Trackmania are talking. Is that the yeah, stream that is back on? What the heck does that oh, mean? Oh shit! You know? Yeah, we are. I does can hear chat? myself again. Okay, so I, first things first, I gotta get in my own server here. You're in it. I'm not in my own server. It said that you were. Uh, someone has stolen my name then. No, it said your friend Nordline is in Trackmania server Norns Den. That doesn't make any dang sense. Dang. Wow. I'm not. I'm not. One Good second. Track is gonna be real loud for a second. Don't worry about it. Those out there in Streamline. Again, I apologize for the technical difficulties. Uh, but at the same time, kind of out of my hands to a certain extent. Uh, I'm gonna try to get into my own server and we're gonna play some Track Mania. If you're looking to join the Track Mania 2 Stadium server, uh, my server name is Northern Lions yes. Thunderdome. Uh, it's also totally full. So I'm gonna have to open something up and boot some people here, and if you get booted, you know, I apologize, I mean no disrespect by it, but I have to get into the server as well. And after that, then we'll get Ohm and Red Panda Gamer into the server. Are you guys all in? I'm in. No. Um, I am I'm in 8th place. In. Okay. Still too full. I'm gonna try to- I'll just to keep hitting. Boot. I'll hit, hit join a lot. I'm gonna try to boot some people, I don't- have a lot of hope about this because I, I can't do live control for some reason on the server. I've had a lot of problems uh, with the the kind of server provider that I've been using. Uh huh. 
And this is kind of just like something that came together at the last minute here. An error occurred while updating the player list. Error live control is not supported for this server. Contact support. Kick ban. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, restart the server. I'm going to like straight up refresh it. Okay. And but I'm in 8th place. Doesn't matter, man. We all got to get in. So I'm all restarting right. the server right now. For the greater good. Especially like Omrecker, if you can hear this, man. Get in here. Same with Red Panda Gamer. Do you want me to add him to the Skype call? Could not connect. Too many players. Oh, I got in. Okay. Step one of my master plan has been completed. Wow, that is that just got broadcasted live to the internet right now. People are going to think what I was? burped there. It's going to ruin my reputation. I'm not a burper. I'm a farter. Sometimes right. you burp. Sometimes. Sometimes you fart. Sometimes I'm scared to see. I knew it. <laughs> But but all I really all I want really... is to hold yeah. you tight. Okay, let's, let's, let's get right. Omrecker in the call here. And Red Panda right. Gamer, if you please. I can't believe be somehow with... we've actually managed to make this work. Be with you dark and light. Don't get out of my face. Alright, we're going to be playing some Trackmania 2 server. So again, Northern Lions Thunderdome if you guys are interested. Server. Trackmania 2 server, Northern Lions Thunderdome if you're interested. Frame rate's a little choppy. That's alright. I'm just happy that it's working for now. Uh, are you yo, guys in? Yo, yo, hey. yo. Oh, look who hey. decided to join dude, us. What I was happened gonna... to Boobface? Bo she died, man. Fuck, dude. That, this is going to stress me out now, man. That no, seriously, she died. Yeah, she, she really? did. Yeah. yeah. Wait. I think, the stream, I think the stream cut for the part where we explained that whole part. Yeah, no, but she, like, literally is dead. I don't think I believe you. This, this is going to ruin. This ruins my whole life. You it's go back, was... watch the stream in 360p, because apparently that's the only resolution it'll update at. Uh, and One then take a magnifying light. glass and read the fucking page. Dude, I don't know. I don't think I can. You don't think you I'm can read? I'm just gonna pretend like her right. and the jeans model. They uh, they went back to her place and just you know took a nap. Lived happily ever after, place. yeah. And then she went to the job, her new job, the next day, and everything went perfect. Yeah, she owned her own so business. Sad. I know, man. She had so much to live for. Well, in her much. own defense, or no, sorry, the opposite. It, it, to to put some like self responsibility on that girl, you were in the opening paragraph. She's like, well, you know, there have been strange disappearances, but I think that's just people being superstitious. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember well, that. Should she be expected to know there's fucking vampires though? Well, she should really... be expected. They're like, well, you know, it has been idyllic except for all those murders the police are reporting. But I don't believe right. that those really exist. Yeah. Well, it's like you were saying, like it sounded like a rape scene. I'm like, oh my god, it kind of does. Like, what kind of dating sim has rape scenes? I wasn't like? really like just trying to get cheap humor out of that. There was some rapey elements no, I, in I, that I, story. No, I, I agreed. I was like, this is. Just, I don't know if I want to watch Northern Lions. <laughs> This is uh, YouTube.com slash Red Panda Gamer, by the way. Hey, guys. I'm trying to join, by the way. And Omrecker oh! is here as well. Yeah, I hey. can't What's join up? either. All right, so we've got an interesting uh, issue uh, where I can't ban people from the server. <laughs> so, Don't say that. Don't, that is like the worst thing you could have possibly said. Well, we just went through this all like live on stream. Well, then. So the only thing I can do is I could restart the server one more time. And then Ask someone to leave. you guys will have I'm a mad me. rush. To join okay because you with the skype notifications you guys will have like an extra you know three or four seconds on the average user ideally do you guys see the server though yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in yeah yeah i'm in as well I yeah think i'm Mickey racing right now it's multiplayer right yeah multiplayer yeah, northern lions thunderdome, northern lions, thunderdome. Northern best name okay. probably <laughs> well it took me the, three weeks to get it started i'm just gonna finish this lap then i will click the restart server button priorities i can't so stop man i'm in 13th place case. that's first page <laughs> what is this, Reddit? Twice. Basically. Oh, okay. I crashed, so it's time to stop. All right, are you ready? Yep. Yeah. I'm ready. restarting the server. Uh, so I, what I would suggest for Nick and Josh here... Is restart now? Is quit the, the server. Match. I am. I'm, I'm okay. at the lobby. And get ready. Oh, I got in. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, because we all just quit. Oh, because, yeah. <laughs> now, you need to exit and then, and then get ready to God come back in. <laughs> We're outclassing uh, Giant Bomb Official Classic right now. I'm, I'm a little yeah, proud of that. <laughs> How do we, do we have people watching? We do, wow, we have way more people than I expected. I don't know if I'm in or not. It's telling me to please wait. No, don't don't yeah. go in yet. Oh, yeah, shit. But now I'm it's still like, getting back to the server in the menus right now. It's all good. Wait. Get, get to the server list. Oh. And... It's loading. You, that's it that's bad, man. Oh, Don't uh, load the I... game, man. How do I tell if I'm in? Oh, God, it's too late. I'm supposed you, to be in. You'll have a car if you're in. 
All right, I'm ready to almost get in. Yep, I'm in. No, okay, no, I'm everyone ready. stay out. Everyone stay out. Oh, well, the server's full. Oh, Come yes, and stay out. He's going to restart it and kick everyone so we can okay. all get in at the same time. I'm right. actually. Okay. Is everyone out? I've got a P. Yeah. Okay, I'm restarting in three, two, one, and then hitting yes, I'll tell you when to start spamming. It's still spinning. It, it's spinning still, this, this is, is too technical operation. Go, 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 go! It's too much for me right Could now. Could not Could contact not server, contact keep going! Upgraded. Could got not it. contact server. It's okay, server. keep going, keep going. I'm in. I got yes. it. I'm in. All right, I got it. I'm in. I got it. That All was right. exciting. Can Woo! I play this with, with uh, Xbox controller? Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Michael yeah. L. Fox, it, it, please tell me you were following that conversation that just happened, though. <laughs> Which you one? Conversation. Are you, oh my god. Are you in the game? I'm in the game. Okay, good. Okay. This guy is always so deliberately coy. So this is my first time playing this, so right. what should I expect? Same. It's basically uh, just competitive, like, time trials or hot it's laps. Hot wheel, it's Hot Wheels as if it were a game, basically. <laughs> is there a way to reset your car? Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, oh, I don't know. I'm using a controller. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, controller? Press start. On the 360 controller, it's the start button. Uh, yes, backspace. I believe on the computer it's backspace. Oh shit! It's always okay. no, it's delete. It's delete. Oh yeah. Oh, I think I it's think delete it's system thirty-two. Real funny, Josh. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. Don't don't even worry, you pretty little head about this one, guys. Ah, oh, it's Tom just short of the exit. All right. Can you unlock cars and stuff? Not necessary, uh, no. man. No. Trackmania is a pure racing game. You can okay. change your car color though by picking your country. I'm I'm America right now. <laughs> you can also change your horn. Oh shit! Oh my god! Don't run into I the saw wall, man. I some dude driving around in a Robotnik, like from Sonic. Yeah, like, I have seen that too. Before. Can we ram each other? No, no it's, yeah, everyone's a ghost. It's like a post-apocalyptic racing game. Otherwise. I'm in twelfth place. That's pretty right. good. Michael L. Fox, what do you so... they made your country like Qatar or something? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm Canada. No, oh, you've got no! like a, you've got a half green, half white flag. What part of Canada is that? Wow, Saskatchewan. Yeah, maybe it's the Saskatchewanese flag. <laughs> so, other than the arrow keys, what other buttons do I need? That's really that's it, man. That's and and backspace is flip your car. I can't start. move. Oh, I was. In... Fuck. You're about to be in dead place. Dead, dead place. I told no. you, press O to make the cars disappear. By the way. I, I really want to run like some kind of stats for this, like some kind of standings, but there's absolutely no way because things move too quickly uh, yeah. that I can yeah. keep track of it. So we're just gonna go on like a race oh, to race shit. basis. Oh god damn it! Is the oh, what is this game playing? mode like? How are we playing? You've got five minutes to set the best lap time you can. Oh okay. And that's it. I see. That's, that's track mania. We're in with yeah. some seriously good competition here. I saw, yeah, I don't know if he's still here, but Batman, Batman 9502, he's another Let's Player. Oh, really? I don't, huh. I don't know if any of you guys know who he is, but he was a... Uh, oh, big... God! Oh, How many I subs? Think? Is it Christian Bale? I'm... It doesn't matter, Ohm. Yeah, just do it for <laughs> fun, man. Yeah, Ohm. <laughs> They're called. What was that other website where they basically just did, it was like a Let's Playing website. I Normal Boots? No, no, not that. We should make mini Normal Boots. Game Anywhere? Or game anyone? <laughs> Saving progress? Oh, I've never heard of it. What's that? They have forums. Mm. I don't so know if you know this, but <laughs> Michael A. L. Fox so is a uh, let's player. Before? Oh, yeah. 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 Occasionally. Oh, shit. I had oh, such a good run. Who, oh, what what place are you guys in right now? Just gameanyone.com. That's what it was. Twenty yeah. ninth place. I'm in tenth. Jesus. I'm in Twenty second, I think. I saw oh. that Nick had a good I time was... too. Uh, I screw up at the I'm end. This game. I'm, I'm in really 19th, bad. and I have like great. I've, I'm feeling like these are great times. Yeah. Obviously, they're not. I, I can't, I'm so used to normal racing games where you have like uh, drifting and stuff. It's weird. You know, like I don't even use the brake in this game. I try not to, but it's hard for me. It's I don't even see the brake anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All I see is walls. <laughs> this motherfucker. I just hate when this game goes in first person mode. That's that's my biggest complaint about this game. I, that's I'd my like favorite part of this game. Actually. In custom really maps, you can actually go like way crazier. Like I was telling Josh, there's this one level that has a an Obi Wan action cam. So when you go Here around, it goes. Obi Wan action cam. 
Yeah, when you go around a corner, just like a, a regular corner, your screen just turns green and starts shaking, and it gives you a top-down view of your car, and then just puts the text yeah. Obi-Wan Action Cam on the screen <laughs> for like 30 seconds. <laughs> Has anyone oh. made a first-person shooter in this yet? No, nah, there is a sweet track <laughs> editor, though. By the way, Darlith the says use the brake for better times, so maybe we don't know yeah. what the fuck we're talking about. I hate this fucking map, man. This is the one that pisses me off the most because of that last ramp. Well, yeah. everyone's telling me uh, that these... Like, I haven't put any custom plugins on the server. Oh, I guess I just lose then. That's the other... The metagame in Track Mania is, like, choosing when... Uh, you, like, do your last restart, because if you do it too late, then you're not gonna have time to finish the course, which is where I'm at, at right uh, now. Uh, uh, damn it. I keep finishing at, like, on my back, just, like, rolling in. Yeah, I bet yeah. you do. Yeah. Red Panda Gamer keeps <laughs> yeah, finishing on his back. I had a better time using the brake. <laughs> Apparently I was using, doing it wrong. That's ironic. Oh, I can make oh, it. My, really Michael like Fox, you are from some Middle Eastern country. Ohm, Ohm, are you playing with an Xbox 360 controller? Oh, no, I'm using the keyboard. Okay, well, there's a way to change your camera. Uh, yes! I don't know what that would be. Suck it, Darlith! You barely beat me. I was in 16th. <laughs> oh, Josh, hey, you still got me! 13th place? You're lucky, man. I think it, so that one was like Josh, me. I was stuck. Michael A.L. Fox, Ohm Wrecker, Rockley Smile, Red Panda Gamer, all like right next to each other. Oh, Michael, Michael's here? Yeah! Yeah. yeah. Hey, he baby. Just, he just doesn't talk because yeah, he he's a dingo. <laughs> I'm focusing on learning this game, you. You brony. You did pretty well. So is this the new map then? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Get ready to lose, bitches. I'm bad at this map. Yeah, what I was gonna mention maps. earlier is that I'm uh, bad at oh, oh, geez. First. Uh, These are just all go um, all the normal like order of I'm the first campaign first map. Oh, right. Oh, These are just like standard Natio oh, maps, yeah. which means they're yeah. like custom or not custom. They're just no, from the game. No. Oh god. That's just customs. Right. These are not custom maps. Custom maps are like the like popular races in Trackmania. I'm in first. What the fuck? But it's Every just gonna I'm go through first. like the normal game maps one in a Correct. row. Correct. Like, eventually, oh, this on. server just got working today, so eventually I'm gonna you know go through all the custom plugins and stuff like that, uh, Sweet. and and make a good server because I you know I could see myself playing this game for a long time. It really it's yeah, it's very I, I, I playable. Like in my opinion, at least. Has anyone tried uh, Shoot Mania? I have. I, yeah. I spent a lot yeah. of time with Shoot Mania last year, actually. Game's weird, Okay, man. I watched a video of it. Does it only have one or two weapons? Yeah. Like, is that it? Just, like, a railgun and a rocket launcher? Railgun. Yeah, there's, like, a sniper rifle, too, but you have to, the way it works, you have to be, like, standing in a specific part of the map to get access to them. It's like American uh, Gladiators. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's exactly <laughs> like American Gladiators, actually. Weird. It's, it's, it's a super a weird game. Ball. I kind of like it a lot. I just wish it was better supported, and I wish it didn't run on this shitty, like, Mania Planet back end. Yeah, it's kind of obnoxious. Being but yeah, planets. owning any Ubisoft game on Steam is like, oh, so you want to run like Ubisoft's proprietary client over top <laughs> of Steam? You're like, no. Honestly, right. I, bought, I bought Far Cry 3 during like the winter Steam sale, and I just bought it on consoles because I didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Don't you I still know have to make it an account even on consoles? You just have to like, it does it seamlessly? I think you can opt out yeah. of it. Oh. You don't have to, but on Steam you have to. It's, it's horrible. I hate it. It's a shame because I really like the the Mania Planet stuff. I just wish it didn't have, I didn't have to deal with Mania Planet in order to use it. Yeah. Because and also it's like this planetary currency, and I have no idea what's up with that. Like I'll go to servers, yeah, planets, yeah. and the servers will planetary be like, "Hey, donate currency. your planets to us." I'm like, "Is there some kind of like fucking black market where I can exchange planets for real money?" Because that's the only reason I can imagine servers okay. asking for this. Planetary. Wait, planetary. What is? What the hell is that? You earn planets. Whenever you finish yeah. a level, depending on your placement, you'll be rewarded with planets. Uh, uh, planets Josh. are just like dollars or gold or you know whatever credits. Weird. They gave me two hundred of them for not playing the game. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> come on, man. Come back, please. <laughs> we'll give you planets. I got. I got like ten thousand one time. It was like you. You haven't wow. played in two weeks. Here's ten thousand planets. Oh shit, man. More like Captain Planet. They're like really Is there like a turbo boost launch in this or something like Mario Kart? Uh, yeah, at the end, the, you see at the, the end uh, of this course. It's there. The very beginning too. The yeah, yellow yeah. arrows on the ground. Wait, there's a boost? Yeah, Not a boost button. You just what? like drive over it. You can't avoid it, man. You gotta, it. you gotta use the boost to get through. Use the boost to get through. <laughs> use the boost to get through. Why? Use the boost to get through. Is everyone so much faster? Well, hello again, everybody. Uh, has crashed one more time. I'm gonna rejoin. The Skype call. Oh, Hello. I do. I wow. Do. 
I think well, eventually. Welcome back to your own damn stream. I know, right? I mean, you you guys weren't heard at, during the time when I was right. gone. That'd be pretty cool right. though well, if I could somehow set yeah, that so up. We actually, just start our own stream. So that would that would might actually work better. How about you guys stream <laughs> and I'll just set up a screen region to capture your stream. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Peer to peer streaming. All of us will stream and we'll all just capture it. Can I run something by you? Sure. Peer to peer docking. <laughs> I don't get it. Think how would that work? It. That's how you have to what do it, I guess. Is? So I'm I'm just letting my computer warm up a little bit here before trying to rejoin the Trackmania server. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, you guys are still playing, though. Yeah. Uh, at the very least, I think I should be able to join as a spectator. I'm still sucking, really. That's all I'm doing. Well, is know. the stream live, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, we're live right now. Okay, good. Josh is in second place. I just got second. That's really good. Did you cut finish in second? Yeah. Oh, like. Well, in a minute and well, it's not over yet. 16 seconds. Okay, still, like, that's really good. Yeah. The highest I've I ever finished I... is like eighth. I have fi I had fifth. <laughs> I don't think I'm Josh still in still, fifth. That's really good. All right. Yeah. Look in your bottom right like side eight. of the screen. I don't know how I could do much better than I've been doing, and I'm in 31st place. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. Now. So I'm going to reboot Track Mania here. Before we start this, I know you guys are busy with the racing, but we might want to do some channel pimping just in case it goes down one more time. Right, we'll do channel <laughs> pimping for the 400 people that are still around. Hey, you know, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How about fuck oh, you, I Red Panda Gamer? You don't get to go at all now. Ouch. <laughs> oh, shit. How do you Actually, type in the, the little text chat thingy? You I think it's probably T or Enter or you know, Yeah, it's, it's Enter, So leave the match, right? Oh, it's T, but okay, it's Okay, Michael L. Fox, why don't you take a second to pimp your channel? Hey everybody, I'm Michael A.L. Fox at youtube.com slash Michael A.L. Fox. <laughs> Alright, that was perfect. Uh -oh. Red Panda Gamer, you're up next. Hey guys, it's Red Panda Gamer. You can reach my channel at youtube.com slash Red Panda Gamer. I'm Let's Playing Battle Block Theater. Actually, Stamper and Behemoth approved now. That's so pretty good. That. Stamper's yeah. got a great voice, man. One of the few men oh, who has yeah. a voice I'm jealous of. Yeah, that guy. I was so happy when he commented on my video. And he <laughs> uh, tweeted. Tweeted it out. Omreka. Oh, I tied for first. A, what? Oh, Omreka, you up. No, guys, I am uh, Omreka, aka The Masked Gamer on YouTube. I do uh, Let's Plays, guides, quick looks, all that good stuff. Check me out. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at or twitter.com right slash Omreka. Also, help me get to 20,000 subs. I'm almost there. Doing it again. Yeah. Do it. Very close. Nick and Josh. I love how it's Nick and Josh. Like, I, the there's only time, right? 12 right? scenes in XSplit, man. I gotta consolidate <laughs> somewhere. We are one man. We are one man. Attached at the dong. Wow. <laughs> in each other's mouths because we're 69. Why don't we have Fair. Why don't we have Nick go first? Nick, you're at 8,991 subscribers right now. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, if you guys want to help me get to 9,000, that would be much appreciated. Uh, that's you know nine more. I'm pretty sure we can pull that off. Uh, but you guys should come watch. I play indie games every day. It's a lot of fun. Uh, YouTube.com slash Rockley Smile. At Rockley Smile on Twitter if you want to chat with me about whatever is going on. I'm happy to discuss your day. If you're eating something. If you are uh, if you have a cat. <laughs> you know, whatever you got going on. I'll, I'll partake. Uh, other than that, I also have a Facebook page. Facebook.com slash Indie Impressions. And a website which is Indie-Impressions.com. So I look forward to hearing from you. Josh? Hey, everybody. I'm Jay Smith OTI. I do YouTube videos. You can find those at youtube.com slash jsmithoti. I'm currently in fourth on this leaderboard. That's really, yeah, good. really good. People will I see that as soon as I, I actually boot track me. last time, which is awesome, too. I'm, 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 I've played before. I'm, I feel like ohm status right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> ohm status. But <laughs> uh, I also have a Twitter account that you guys should follow. It's twitter.com slash jsmith underscore OTI. And every once in a while, I do live streams such as Northern Lion. Oh, God, I hit a wall. Um, and you can find those at twitch.tv slash jsmith OTI. I look forward to seeing you guys. And his stream rarely crashes as often as mine does. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's ever crashed. Must be nice, man. It's pretty nice uh, using Twitch. Yes, yeah, it's not Twitch's problem, you ding dong. <laughs> really? Yeah, <clears throat> really. I doubt it. Fuck. One sec. I, I My think buddy Northern Line just connected to the game. Why is there a giant Jello mold in this level? Because it's the Northern <laughs> Line Thunderdome, man. Oh. There's always room for Jello. One man enters the Jello. One man leaves. Imagine laying on a pile of Jello so big that if you started sinking into it, you would die. How scary would that be? 
That would be real Dude, that'd scary. Be, that, that'd, be, that'd be the way to go. That'd be the way to go. Alright, so... Carry. Rather than resetting the yeah. server, if someone would be the world's nicest man and leave... Um... Not... What? <laughs> <laughs> I just deserve Nick. Preferably not Ohm. <laughs> or anybody well, here. I, given how I've been playing... Yeah, we could do elimination, like, look at our ranks, and one by one we have to leave the stream. I'm first, <laughs> so... That would be... Um, yeah, Josh would probably win. For some reason, he's a Trackmania superstar. He's a track. I'm, like, I'm, I'm 19 in North Carolina, man. He's a track div. I'm 167 in New York. Well, that stared you off and left the game. I'm trying, but people keep joining faster than I can get in. I feel like if I was using a controller, I'd do better. Do you have a uh, wired I mean, USB controller? I do have it. I just I didn't plug it in. You should plug it in, man. It makes it so much easier. Yeah, yeah I tried better. Because ah! as it is right now, it's like when I push on the steering, it like it's max value instantly. I think that's just kind of how it goes. That's yeah, that is kind of just how the digital game is. input, man. Even with controllers? Yeah. Oh. No. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's I don't know. For for the acceleration, yes. Fuck it, damn it. You can you can use a little bit more finesse with the controller stick. Man, yes. my computer is acting like real slow right now. I'm worried about your computer, man. I'm a little yeah. bit worried. May are, as are of May first, I should have my regular Northern Lion East computer, which would like stream this stream running this at 1080p 20 times over and not even get warm enough to fucking like keep you from dying in the winter. <laughs> that but, is that is typically how people rate uh, warmth. <laughs> Well, you know, it's, they, it's, it's, it's its ability to uh, keep you alive during the- I, I might have to reset the server here, because I can't get in. Oh. Uh, no one will ever know of Josh's, uh... I, I'm basically providing you guys with the worst streaming experience, and the worst give Trackmania me, experience. Give me 45 seconds. I'll give you 45 you seconds, Josh. Josh, how are you shaving six seconds off of my time? Because I'm the man. I love- <laughs> I, I absolutely love this track, by the way. I would- I would love to see your perspective. This is my favorite track. You could probably yeah. load up his ghost and follow him directly. No, uh, Josh, J. Smith's of the eyes ghost on Twitter now. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> is, there, is Chris Benoit's ghost on there? <laughs> Chris Benoit's ghost maybe is that, smiling uh, down from heaven. <laughs> sure. I know, I was sure. going to say, maybe that uh, maybe He's that giving vampire. baby Jesus the cross face crippler right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think that was the WrestleMania main event. All right, it's over. I win. Yep. Did oh, you come in first? Oh, somebody left. To win. Somebody left. First. Someone left. Yep. Nah, Two people. Oh, I got in. Left. Sweet. Woo! You're nice. You're nice dudes, guys who left. Now let's do half of a race before my computer crashes. <laughs> Dude, that choose your own adventure. All book. I know is... is that I'm the second best of us. Uh huh. No. -uh. And I'm Nick the worst. There. What? Nick I beat got me. 15. Yeah, Nick beat you. Oh, that doesn't count. I didn't see it. <laughs> okay. If things oh, okay, do crash, uh, I'm not gonna reboot the stream because that's that'll be like the fourth time. Hmm. So at that point, we're just we're playing with fire, I think. But in any yeah, case, uh, thank you guys for joining me and thank you guys for watching as well through the repeated technical difficulties. I mean, I got nothing. Oh, actually, I got guacamole, so I guess I do have something. Yeah, well, I got guacamole too. I'm kind of itching to play that. Oh Finally. My God, I'm so, what is it? It's a it's, Metroid, uh, Metroid 2D side-scrolling Metroidvania on uh, Vita and PSN. It comes out tomorrow. Oh, oh, nice. oh man, got a nine from IGN, man. Yeah, really. They, they, they seem like they just really wanted to take points off because they were like, "Oh, it's a little short. It's eight hours long." It's the guy. Not, uh, it's eight hours long. I thought it was like four hours. Yeah, long. we no, interviewed with. They're, they're like, if you hundred percent, it's eight hours long. Oh, okay. and they took points off for that, which I don't get. But Graham at Drinkbox told us that it can be beaten in two ten. hours. They didn't huh? get paid enough. Exactly, man. Drinkbox didn't set up the the sweet like <laughs> offshore bank account. <laughs> oh, so this is like a lap race. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, I hate this. Which means that if you restart, you automatically lose because you can't what be going faster on the start than if you. Right, and then I just restarted. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, what's up god, in the... in, I can't even... Con... I'm just gonna drive around for I really like those notifications with... at the top, actually, that tell you when someone has taken, like, a high-ranking position. Yeah. yeah. Giant like Bomb Server doesn't layout. have that. I like the layout overall. Giant Bomb Server doesn't have that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they do have, they do have unlicensed dubstep on every track, though. Music. 
Yeah, I, I prefer the Giant Bomb server, man. I like the music a lot. And they got nope. some crazy courses on there. They like do have the some music. insane courses. Josh so just likes like the pure racing. Modible? Yeah, it's not... I mean, there's like a level editor. Okay. I wouldn't necessarily call it moddable. Custom copyrighted music though, somehow. I don't know how that works. Oh yeah, you can just put on your own custom copyrighted music if you want to. <laughs> like, we could be listening to fucking, I don't know, Hybrid Smash Theory Bell. or something right now if we Smash wanted Bell. to. I think I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit O and turn these ghosts off. Yeah, cars, even though they don't hurt you when you. Yeah, I know. My, I'm trained to not try and like run into them. What position are you guys in right now? Um, I'm, doing my, I'm doing the fastest lap right now. No, no, I'm third. Missionary. You're third? Yeah. Fuck well, you, maybe. Josh. Depends. Yeah, third. So, so you guys play with the cars visible? No. Uh, yeah. No. I'm yeah, about not to in a moment. I like seeing what they do right, and what I do wrong. And I, I just went off the track. It's useful That's for awesome. a couple of laps, I think. If you don't, especially on maps where you don't know what to do, there's like some puzzle maps, kind of. Yeah. Then it's really useful, but otherwise they'll just clutter up your screen. I think I got this course down. Oh nope, nope, never mind. I'm in tenth, which is like pretty good for my standards. I'm in fourth. Thirty first. Seventeenth. <laughs> Nineteenth. So I'm doing better than Ohm, but that's not saying much. <laughs> There's a learning curve in this Ohm game, will be, honestly. will be, like, top in the world for this. Yeah, probably. <laughs> MLG. Yeah, we'll play They'll this on the Sunday the Super planets. Show next. All the planets. The whole universe. I am a believer that practice makes perfect, <laughs> and you can get good at any game. I just want to finish fucking one race. If you finish one race, the stream is a success, even though it's running at, like, 10 frames a second. Stream. 24th. So suffice it to say, this is the last time we play Track Mania on the stream until I get a, my real computer here. But the, this game, it runs like really smoothly. I'm surprised you can run Dark Souls and can't run this. You know, I don't know why it's super framey on the stream right now. It must be... beats me. Probably shouldn't have prefaced that by saying it must be. Because I have no idea what's <laughs> wrong with it. What are you planning for um, Wednesday? I'm not totally sure yet. Um... I think we should have uh, either Ice Catcher Cards Against Humanity maybe on Wednesday or Thursday. Taking a little break from it, because like doing Cards Against Humanity twice in a row kind of started to get my uh, like my refractory period grew, shall we say. Yeah, yeah. Because we were getting uh, a lot of the same cards. Blow again to blow. Yeah. We gotta lose a little bit of our familiarity in that game first. Yeah, it seemed like the, there were too many dupes popping up. Yeah, that happens for sure. Bad draw. Um... But yeah, we'll probably play one of those this week. And I don't know, like, I, I'm kind of waiting on, like, another good multiplayer release to come out, but it just hasn't you only happened. Wanna stream, you only want to stream PC games, right? I yeah, could stream Battle, Battle Block, Block, but I've never done it with my, oh, uh... Oh, God. Because I'd, I'd love... I w if we did a stream of Battle Block, that would be awesome. For sure, I that'd be that crazy fun. So the problem is that I've just I, never done... Uh, I've never used, like, live streaming with my Elgato, so I don't yeah. know how, how seamlessly it integrates. I really need to just take, like, a day... And yeah. figure it out, I think. Because, seriously, Battle I tried Block it on Twitch. It... What's that? No, then go ahead. I was going to say, I tried using it on Twitch. It was actually pretty good quality. It worked fine? Yeah. I was mostly worried about, like, audio desync, so... I don't know. I need to get rid of this fucking HTTP VR, though, because every other recording is messed up. Bless you. Or... Yeah, same here. So... It... Like, I did a three-hour recording session of uh, Battle Block and... Hey, Schnitzel! Bit... Last hour. How does it feel, Schnitzel? Oh. How does it feel? <laughs> Josh, you did pretty well. Damn. Yeah, I did. I, Mr. Redwood's good, man. He <laughs> beat me last time. Well, we tied last time. Mm. I, I got 21. if you got a Redwood, you gotta go to the doctor. Are you seeing Michael A.L. <laughs> Fox's flag here? Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. from, like, Cutter or something. I'm pretty sure he's from actually, Jordan. That was, it, that was what it gave me when I first booted up the game. I had to change it. <laughs> oh, then it must be, like, the first country with A. It must be, like, Algeria oh, or something, right, or Albania. Yeah. Who knows? Who gives a fuck if it's not America? It could be Afghanistan. I don't know, man. Oh. I said, said who gives a fuck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> By the <laughs> way, for the eight people still watching, uh, this server <laughs> is <laughs> persistent or ubiquitous, however you want to say it. Uh, so, like, if you want to play after the stream is over, this this will be up. And I'm planning in in uh, renew or I'm planning on renewing it as well, especially because there were huge technical difficulties. So they're basically giving me like three weeks free. So. Wow. You know, so at the very least, this shit will be up until, like, mid-May. Mid and beyond that, it's literally only, like, $9 a month to run, so I'll probably keep oh. it going at least as long as I'm playing the game. Yeah. 
But I was also thinking on, on Wednesday, Whoa. and this doesn't necessarily preclude it from being on the Sunday Super Show, but we could play uh, Global Offensive on Wednesday, maybe, too. Oh. Uh, uh, or Dota yeah, 2? Yeah, tell me ahead huh? of time, because so, I got to buy I'm not, it. I'm not playing Dota 2. Wait, you need to buy what, Nick? <laughs> yeah, Counter-Strike, if you're getting that. Oh, no, we'll, just, yeah, dude, we'll hook you up, I man. Don't worry. I love Counter-Strike. I do, too. Josh is the new Ohm. Actually, I like I, I, I I've been playing a lot of Trouble in Terrorist Town, like Gary's mod. I, I don't know why I just love that game. Maybe because so you're a big C Nanners fanboy. Uh, maybe. Uh, did you get that comment like 500 times on that video? No, I did. I, well, what happened was I was <laughs> shitting on YouTubers who play. I'm like, you've probably seen the people play the game, but just so you know, they're like assholes and they play the game wrong. <laughs> and That's people, and someone start. commented saying. Oh, well, you make RDM. I don't know if you guys have played it. Like, you make RDMing and whatever sound like a bad thing. Like, because it, it fucking is. It ruins the game. What's Wait, RDM? What is that like random RDMing? Death RDM it, 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 Deathmatch. It, yeah, it's when you just shoot. Because uh, the whole point of that game is to not kill unless you know someone's a traitor. Oh, uh, okay. And people will just run around and shoot each other. Oh, so it's like, game. um, like that mafia it's game or. Like it's the old like party, party game. It's, it's like my party the... Counter Strike. Hmm. You have to figure out who the traitors are, and uh, there's a detective, and it's a that it's really pretty cool. It's a really fun game. That does man. sound fun. And uh, it's mostly communication, though. It's one of the few games I've ever played where everyone talks on the mic, and that is a good and terrible thing. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I'm just Especially like when I, as soon as I saw you post that video, I was like, oh, that dude's gonna get like Cena's comments I, I out did. his ass. I did. I expected it, but I didn't. Especially because, like I said, is that all he shit. plays now? He plays like the hidden and trouble in terrorist town. I think yeah. So. And, I well, I don't know. Not to get the scene and our army over here. Obviously, dude's no, doing actually, okay for himself. I actually like him himself, but I, I mean, he's kind of in that niche of play the same two games. Yeah. yeah. For the rest Forever. of your life. Strikes me yeah. as a really nice guy. Yeah. Supply and demand, though. Plus, he got me into Minecraft, actually. Yeah? You know, like you got into Minecraft? It's like three years ago, but oh. what's Minecraft? Yeah, I never heard of it. It's basically it's a ripoff of patterns. Game. It's a three D. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a ripoff of Terraria. Yeah, it's like three D Terraria. Like this guy, I don't know if you know him. He's called Notch, like some kind of shitty alias. Saw Terraria, know, right? <laughs> and then he was like, you know, like I could just make that in three D, but even like they easier. Just, uh, they just passed ten million sales. Ah, it's, that's not even anything, man. <laughs> Is it like thirty bucks? No, yeah, it's twenty six on PC, but you know, twenty on. That's Man, only Minecraft like ninety percent of the Sims. Yeah. You're saying Minecraft is that much? Yeah. 20, yeah. Well, when it first Fuck came out, that. it was a ten bucks. I got it for like five or ten bucks. Yeah, yeah I got it yeah. like when I first. Came out, and they're like, just so you know, this game's gonna be super expensive. Like, pff, yeah, right, whatever. It's just cubes, now, yeah. man. Dude, that's probably the worst part about working in GameStop is like the parents who buy their kids Xbox 360s just so they can play Minecraft. Oh man! And then I had to go on and explain to them how they need like Xbox Live Gold, and I got buy it online. Wait, that uh, market oh, actually exists? That. Like, huh? Parents buying their kids 360s just so they can play Minecraft? Yeah, dude, it happens at least once a month. Do they not have computers? Uh -oh. No, they do, but they're like, I don't want to get a virus. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even. I wish I was joking. No, it's I so pathetic. Yeah, it's just like what people would buy their kids iPod touches so they could play Angry Birds. Mm -hmm. Wow. You might as well buy an iPad if you're gonna play Angry Birds. I you need the bigger screen. Feel like I should almost throw this out here. Like I have literally zero problem with Minecraft. Like. Oh yeah, no, I love my. I, I like. I actually like Minecraft a lot. I own the documentary that came out. Oh, uh, yeah, a yeah. couple months. But that was more because I, I like the guy's uh, two-player production. Two PP. Y'all know me. I've never played Minecraft. Whoa. Really? It's yeah. too casual for you, Om. I was gonna say, yeah, there's not enough, cause like, we're playing this now, he's like, so uh, when you go into the blue stuff, does it make you go faster, does it slow you down? Like, it's, <laughs> it's racing, dude, just keep going and not crash. You couldn't have said Ironically, I was kind of obsessed with Minecraft for a while, but it was right before I started doing YouTube series. Oh, I was gonna get uh, the best life of my goddamn night. Don't lie to the people, Josh. Uh, was, you know, I could have been on the left side of the leaderboard, man. Now I'm scum on the right. <laughs> you can lie to me, bit. just don't right lie to me. Scum Prime, I'm not even on there. <laughs> I got my ass kicked. Oh my god, why is everything so slow? Is this computer like a thousand degrees right now? Look at this Redwood. Wow. He loves being on top. Mr. Redwood's pretty good. <laughs> I'm moving up. I mean, you can tell because. He's getting like um, no flags. Minecraft is a pretty good. Minecraft is a pretty good roguelike, is what the game chat says. It's true. It's mm -hmm. different every time. 
shout. See, what happens to me with Minecraft is I'll play for a few hours, I'll get diamond, be like, eh, I don't feel like playing anymore. That's bit, yeah. yeah. I, I play I've until, like, my first always... major setback. Like, I'll build a house and then I'll die and I will forgot to build a bed or something, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, that was fun. Well, fuck this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's basically, I've always said that Minecraft is as good of a game as you are at it. You know what I mean? Like, if you know yeah. all the redstone shit and you know mods and all that, then it's a great game. But if you're just gonna play the normal thing, you're gonna get bored. I really like to use it as sort of like a crappy 3D level design simulator, yeah. and I was making all kinds of crazy castles and shit, and I had a lot of fun with that. Castle Crashers? Crazy Castles. That can be like the iOS crazy sequel castles? to Weed Magic. The Jude? Weed Magic. It's We're not, not calling it Jew. the Jew Weed. That's not going to test right. well. See, I, I could, I'll be your test. I mean, I'm Jewish, and I'm, I'm not offended by that. See? It's yeah, but we got to market this to like 50-year-old people. They're going to be offended, but they get offended by everything. Are you trying to say that Jews can't take a joke? I'm trying to yes. say 50-year-old people are notoriously sensitive. Yeah, it's true. Fifty-one-year-olds, totally cool. Forty-nine-year-olds, my dogs. Fifty-year-olds, exactly though. I don't, know, I don't trust forty-nine-year-olds. You don't. You wouldn't trust forty-nine-year-olds, Nick. Not really. I wouldn't trust them if I gave them a box of gushers or something and told them not to eat it. How old is? <laughs> Woody's I'm gonna eat these fucking gushers. I'm, gonna, I'm like trying to imagine. Like, I'm trying to imagine an adult eating a box of gushers, and it's just the weirdest. Yeah, thing. Oh, this is gonna be real shitty. <laughs> It just looks terrible. It just looks so weird. I'm gonna eat so many gushers. Their mouth like yeah. curls up. <laughs> Pretty sure gushers are one of those things that when you buy it at the grocery store, you have to like hire a kid to come with you. <laughs> so it isn't for it's me. Like, hey, you guys really need to make the I I don't I like you, but I don't rogue like you. you really need to. Make <laughs> I'm gonna make the art for that if you wants to go ahead with I, it. I'll sure, buy yeah. it, dude. I want it. I'll I'll, want I'm it. in. I'll just take the profits. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll serve as the the marketer and. I don't know, not distributor, but the person who lets people know that the shirts exist. <laughs> the hype man? Flavor, did, like Flavor Flakes? Did you guys not get that offer in your emails today? I thought it was like a Pixel Prospector type list deal. Where this dude oh, is like, hey! Off the list. Oh, I, 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 I think I'm still on the list. I'm still oh. getting unsolicited oh. iOS review requests, so... Oh, okay. Um, Sorry. Not, not to shit on Pixel Prospector, what he does is amazing. It's just, you know, it's not necessarily all purpose. Yeah, no, this guy's like my best friend. He's like hooked me up with all kinds of information at the beginning when I was starting out, so I'm totally grateful to Absolutely. him. Absolutely, he's a super good dude. And he's so good that developers that I can't possibly help are emailing me as a result. <laughs> but, but anyway, it's fine. But yeah, I, I thought it was like an email. Like